as I begin recording. First session of the new year, guys. Uh, so. All right. The Hammer Strike has been wading through the cursed Morbog, a dark marshland that teaches the veil between the material plane and the Blacklands. You left behind the security of civilization and are currently following the guidance of your hired scout, Severe, uh, exploring the marsh's unknown regions to devise a safe route for you and your group that will accommodate the bulky form of Angrim steam tank. You've been keeping alert for the marsh's dangers, such as uh, the wandering dead, uh, some mind-altering effects, and the adult black dragoness, Mortifex. You found uh, preserved remains of drowned bodies lost to sorrow and hopelessness. You found skeletons cruci uh, crucified upon strange wicker constructs, a sign of hag activity. You also discovered an ancient ruined chapel and heard chanting within, only to discover ancient skeletal remains in the pews, gazing upon the, uh, the statue, Kusata the Bloody Mad, the very same figure who authored the infamous ap uh, apocryphum, the, the, uh, the Black Book of the Dead. Inscribed upon the statue's chest was the symbol of the Awakened, and a black tongue script written in a circle around it. Within the ruined tower, attached to the back of the chapel, you discovered a pothecus inscribed with woven runes. Uh, within, you found uh, uh, you found a runic catalyst's uh, sort of basic primitive rune carver's tools, um, a dwarven death mask, and an ancient religious amulet depicting the symbol of, of the awakened seen the, the Ashbite lineage, uh, their dark rune, ca uh, rune carvers, and the Awakened may have some connections. The bone piles around you arose, assembled themselves, and a horde of skeletons descended upon you, which you swiftly defeated and retreated back to the steam hammer. Later that night, you, uh, uh, Vellum, recalled uh, the Brood War, the ancient battle between dragons and giants, the, the splitting of dragonkind into chromatics and prismatics. Uh, the giants turned against chromatics, resulting in uh, this three-way war between all three factions that devastated dragons and giants alike, paving the way for the Akteshi's eventual downfall. The day after, during your travels, you stumbled upon a ruined fort uh, from the times of the uh, War of the Undying, when the, the gatekeepers, the people who manned the walls that uh, secure the Mobog, uh, were merely uh, a bunch of militias fighting it on the front lines. You broke down one of the ancient walls and decided to investigate after Bajar cast a private sanctum spell to hopefully ward off any black spots or prying eyes. With some keen investigation rolls, you discovered the aftermath of a necromancer battle between some sort of cloven hooved entity, likely uh, a demon, and a lizard like entity, both of them humanoid. Through some snooping, you discovered the remains of this, this lizard-like entity at the top of the fort's tower, dead and desiccated. It was more dragon than saurian. The Jar recognised what this creature was, and it was clutching some sort of torn sheer silk in its hand, a remnant from the prior battle, which the Jar swiftly pocketed, and benotes to Villain, who was also up there. It was then that some entities, curious of the Black Veil that uh, cloaked the fort, stumbled into this shadowy barrier. A skeleton draped in heavy armour, some sort of battle-hardened lord in life, spotted the group, shrieked and initiated a battle charge, summoning fallen warriors across the fort to descend upon your group. You defeated them with some difficulty and some uh, strategic positioning, and you found that the black spots seem to have been summoned in the process. Strange. Uh, with the adrenaline fading, and the dread of this place dawning upon you, you begin to scour the fort for anything of use. I'll bring you back to the, the map. There it is. We love that scene. Ooh. 
Let me know when you're loaded in. I think uh, Atlas still needs to load in though. There we go. I am still I also think I loading just got in. It. Okay. Yep. I'm at about 50%. I'm in. Um, is there a reason I could look at the Skeleton Lord sheep? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, that's, uh, that is odd. Um, let's try to loot him and suddenly I see, <laughs> like, uh, his right, backstory. Right. Yes, and... yes, yes, um, sorry. Uh, so, Again, one of these, one, one of these modules, um, loot sheet, uh, has yet to be updated with, uh, Foundry version 9. So, what uh, I could do, uh, to fix that temporarily, is convert it into a merchant sheet. Or the loot free. Okay. Uh, that's fair enough. Um, also, while I'm waiting, still waiting on loading in, though I might just refresh, um, congratulations to Pluto, you've been reinstated as a planet. Oh shit. Again. Yeah. Fuck! <laughs> I. What? <laughs> I am confused. <laughs> I thought I was always a planet. declassified in 2006 and now uh, reclassified it, or if it's a wait it was reclassified why uh, because apparently the uh, OST's uh, decision was based on wrong requirements for being a planet whether or not it had uh, orbital debris uh, okay. like <laughs> moons or something because it's small enough that it like, it is a moon yes yeah let's say isn't it it, it, could, be, it could be a moon right so uh before i think i think ducky's loaded in so mm. let, me, let us continue yeah we're, we're yeah we should probably right so so you begin to sort of scowl the fort for anything of use a chill runs down your spines Go ahead and make me those wisdom saves once that pops up. Oh. Beans and biscuits. Oh, I'm gonna no. go ahead and do advantage because mine stole. Yeah. All right. So <laughs> roll me that d20. Yep, uh, let's see. Which one? Think it went through as the faint. Yes, it. Did. Uh, However, I do need to do a, a fancy roll for it. So nice. Mine didn't break. Uh. And then it's what? It's just uh, another wisdom yeah, save, right? Just, just another wisdom save. Alternatively, you can just hit that prompt with a uh, alt alt for advantage. Um. Hmm. Right. Well. As your oh, oh, your, <laughs> your your mind stone. Sh oh wait, no, hang on. That was a wisdom save, didn't mind. That was good because yeah, mine is fine. I very closely tickled the edge of yeah, losing I my really mindstone. Yeah, I 20 on my mindstone. Yep. Okay. Oh. So, um, go hmm. ahead and, and uh, continue as you were, and I will... Uh, not, not that I don't want to take advantage of this, but... I got a plus 12 on my wisdom save, and I do not deserve a plus 12 on my wisdom save. What? And I'm trying to figure out why I have a blanket plus 10 to all my saves right now. What the fuck? I don't know. Um, I know. Uh, uh, did that's... you get that as a result of your passing your previous thing? Maybe, but I'm trying to look through my abilities and, and find something that's uh, gives me this. Maybe I know effects. Ducky got a plus 10 or plus uh, No, 20, I have a like, plus 5. No, 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 no! Somebody got, somebody got a huge bonus. To their initiative, things. That was like me that. again. Yeah. Doing some check. Uh, hmm. Is it your amulet of protection that's given you that error? I may, I may have done a typo and given you plus ten and plus one. Maybe. No, that's that's not. Well, I mean, at a fif at fifteen. Okay, fifteen. Is that, I think that's enough to pass. That's, I think, yeah, yeah, the DC yeah. that it's been. Okay, yeah. Uh, Me. 
Oh, I, I think I see why. It was these two are tattooed major protection. No, 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 I may have mistyped that. Yeah, double double check that. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. No, that's it's not good. This ain't Pathfinder. You're not getting a bonus of plus ten out of nowhere. <laughs> oh, you say that? My paladin has a plus twenty blanket across all the saves. That's what I said. This is not Pathfinder. Pathfinder is nuts. I know Pathfinder can get ridiculous with its fucking bonuses. Pretty fantastic. Mm -hmm. Because my paladin gets his charisma bonus to all his saves, and he has a 34 charisma. Yeah. This, Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. <laughs> right, I'll, 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 I'll try and fix that when you've got some downtime here. No problem. Right, uh, so... Uh, I knew this was gonna come one day. I wonder no. if we should try Pathfinder one day just to see how Janner's brain melts. Yeah, I'll, I'll then, then, then. <laughs> be gone. It could be very fun. It's more complicated. Hey, it's a little, little bit more granular. More. So continue as you were. Um, going right, everybody to... Everybody alright? Yeah. I think we're yeah. all generally okay. Yeah. Right, well... Let's try and finish up here and get moving. Don't know if that attracted any attention or anything or... Can Liska look at the skeleton lord who had the big glowy great sword uh, and yeah. like just check out the great sword kind of pick it up look to magic people nearby and be like hey is this magic he's down yeah, here I could, I could take a look or would you do you have the uh, identify prepared uh, no, that is why I'm asking you. <laughs> yeah, he, he turns from Dejar, who is just talking back to Liska. Well, I do, but I'm, you know, I'm asking. Oh, yes, it was, I it, it was a joke. It's, it's fine. Oh, sorry. That's a good joke. Thank you. I do what I can. Let me. Speaking of jokes, back to your spell book. He turns back to Dejar. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Up. Let me character back up here for a second. Well, you know, I could I could wait. Like we could probably, because I know y'all might be able. Y'all have seen y'all sometimes do it all magically instantaneous, but sometimes you take like ten minutes, which I don't want to just chill here for ten minutes longer than I have to. Yeah, uh, we can do it when we uh, when we camp. I can, I can, oh, yeah, I, 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 I can't do that, no. We, we can check it, camp. You know what? By the way, am I supposed to be able to see tokens? I don't see anything but the dead guys. Uh, I don't see us. <laughs> you don't see yourself? No. He might be on a different floor. No, I'm on the ruined garrison. Am I? Where am I? Yeah, you're, you're just here. Here, I cannot select myself. Can you delete me, re add me, please? Yeah, yeah. Let me do that for you real quick. Because I know shit's limited by token view, and if I can't even see my own token to select it. Oh! I can see myself now. Let me know Don't if anyone else me. is I'm having, a, having Trying to issue. explore. Uh, I can see myself. That. I can see myself. I also can see yeah, myself. The others, too, so. Hmm. I'm going to have Sao head down towards the others, because... Right, uh... I'm going to check with this, uh... The body up the, on the tower. So. 
Give me a moment. Trying to get up. Oh, I see. I see measurements, but I can't see your token. I might have to refresh. No, that's because I'm downstairs. Maybe um. why. Oh, I'm up here. Oh, I see, I see spice on the stairs. Yeah, oh, no. there's just three stories, and none of us were on the same one. That'll do it. Ooh, Draconic Humanoid Necromancer. I actually haven't gotten to look at this yet. I would like to look at this person. I wasn't right. here when it was said, but... So I'm following Dejar up here, I assume. Is she going up here? Up to the top of the tower? Yeah, spice. God damn it. Did he? Black spice. He's still there? I. I spice, think hello? I can... Spice? No. Black spice. Okay, well, then instead, I'm just gonna go to the top of the tower because I haven't explored this part, and I wanna make sure there's no fucking rattly boys that are left up here unchecked to flank us from behind. Okay. And oh shit, well, look at that a corpse. Yeah, you see what looks like this strange. Um, you you've seen something like like this before in uh, in the um, w w when you were fighting that that, that young green dragon, um, this lizard-like entity. Though this this is less saurian, more draconic in nature. It's strange. Um, Maybe it's a different breed. Maybe it's. Uh, you, you've never seen. You've never quite seen a creature like this before. I interested. Interested. Hmm. My advanced wisdom tells me what this is most likely going to be. Uh, in character, uh, I'll think on it. Okay. Uh, poke him with the hammer. They don't look like they're gonna get up. It kind of prod it with the with with the blunt end of the hammer a bit. Kind of shifts in re in response to, to to the to the movement. Not like not not like it's about to get up, but just it's not animating. It's no. just you know so you I disturbed just, it. Boonk. Well, better safe than sorry. Reach over to the fucking cooking sack. Pull out the meat cleaver and just take off the head. You shunk. The the neck comes loose in, in this sort of um dis, sort of desiccated. <laughs> Where? Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. A desiccated <laughs> air. <laughs> yeah, it 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 it's as if it's as if all of the moisture has been sucked clean from it. Oh, great. Okay. Oh. That's fucking disturbing. I... Hmm. Hmm. That's Can not I figure out what have, normal? would have done that? Or if that... Oh, hey, um, welcome back. I went up to the top to investigate. Yeah, I... I dead body. Okay, then. I'll be... I'm up... I should be up there. I yeah, just we thought you were. It. Yeah, that's... <laughs> um... He, Arngrim saw this, poked the body to see if it was going to come back to life, went better safe than sorry, and took off the head with the cleaver. Right, uh, the yard would be like, okay, but I would request, uh, leave the head with the body. Severed, of course. I'm... There's someone that might take an interest to... To this uh, person slash thing. What? Uh, I, and why leave it here? I'm not gonna leave it here. I have a way to uh, preserve the body. Take it with us. It just kind of looks at you. I mean, I. Uh, 
I could do that too, but you know I mean, that takes time and you have to lug around the big old body. No, 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 no. <sighs> I don't mean like that. I mean, I'll be putting it in a. I have a spell to put it in the crystal. Easy for to carry, not to lug around. Oh, wait, does it shrink down into the crystal? Yes. Oh, that's convenient. How do you do that? Basically, what I ha it is a ritual spell, it takes about at least 10 or so minutes. I have to draw a, a, a uh, chalk circle, put five of these uh, small, four of the small crystals and a, the large one at the top, put the body into the circle and then, you know, do my uh, arcane chanting and whatever, and it sucks into the, uh, the largest crystal. Do the little ones disappear? Is it, well, you know, consumed like diamond uh, dust is with some spells? Yes. It's really expensive. That's why I have. Well, it, for this... We, you can do that with your money if you want. I'm just saying, we could take the head back. I put it in me fucking bag of colden, or rather me chest of preserving, and set the head in there, won't we'll rot, and, well, any more than it has. And we can bring it back. That's it's a f mighty fine spell, but you know, do you want to pray for it on this? I I, w I will. I, I I don't mind particularly because also with this spell, it doesn't age; it's in stasis. Well, I mean, it's not gonna age as the corpse. It's gonna desiccate. <laughs> that's what, that's that's good what to I know. Mean. That's why I mean it won't it won't rot or anything. <laughs> God, very tongue is hard. Right, I was gonna put it in the freezer, but if you want to, you know, you can use your own fancy thing. I'm guessing from the way that's not sealed tight, somebody's already been up here and through that chest, eh? Yes. Uh... It's oh. hold on. My I think, token I think is, that is a yes. Yes. Uh, my token's on, still on the stairs. It's not up top for some reason. Uh, okay. Can you just take a step to the left? Wait, it's saying, um, go to the right and then left. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, again. Um,. Oh, I'm interested in there you go. I'm interested in figuring out above board. Uh, I'm interested in figuring out what the spell was or what effects, if it belongs to effect of the Morbog, or if it was killed with this L or an enchanted weapon. You know, was this guy the Lord down there, or is he killed by the Lord and the magic sword turns people to dust or whatever? So. Arngrim is interested in trying to identify these wounds. He's right. going to turn to Dejar and say, Look at this! As he opens up the neck and it's just fucking rotten pixie dust. It's just... It's, it's almost like deathly sand It's so dry. How do you think this happened? As he looks over the body for other, like, stab wounds or scorch mark spell or anything like that. This, hmm. I want, hmm. Go ahead and make an arcana check. Um, I would say, uh, with Ankrum's help, uh, just go ahead and. Yeah, I'm the, aiding her. Yeah. Go ahead and do it with it. Okay. Advantage. Oh, and you know what? Since he's actively asking you a question beforehand, and he's expecting you to do something, he's gonna slap you with the guidance. So. There you go. All right. Add is it three to your roll. Okay. Um, it's is it a uh, shift or is it a uh, alt? Alt. Alt. alt for advantage. In control okay. is disadvantage, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Then cool, cool. Twenty-eight. 
26 uh, plus uh, 29. Right. Yes. Um, you've. Is that include? I see you have a plus three plus eight. Is that including, or do you have the plus three from a special item or something? Uh, plus three is from a special I item. Um, uh, okay, so 29. Awesome. It was just coincidental. Cool. Uh, <laughs> right. Okay then. Um, yes. The you you certainly heard of these these types of runes being described when it comes to associations with certain spells. Um, this seems like a clear... Uh, the clear aftermath of a particularly devastating innovation spell. Oh... oh. Ooh, she, she just... Her face scrunches up. Rather something like... Almost in the Gus, that's uh, that's a nasty way to go. Well, you ever heard of uh, an innervation, Angram? Heard of what now? I'm sorry. Innovation. It, uh, basically, it... innovation like creating. No, the uh, the opposite. Sorry, I don't you... understand snake accents. Is it racist to call you a snake? I don't care. It, 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 if it makes you happy, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> oh, do you mean innervation? Innervation, yes. They I have why heard of it. Okay. okay, so for this fella, he was still alive and obviously Sucked dry in the worst form of agony. Ugh. Think of it just all your, all the humanly fluids, liquids, just like a uh, uh, water skin. It's drained dry. I, ugh. Forcibly, ugh. So. It's sort of like what vampires do, but with all moisture? Yeah. Yeah. I... Huh. You know... Honestly... I put some lard... On his neck wounds. You know, where they're bound. It'll create a nice fatty seal that water can't get through. He's... Basically mummified. I don't think you need to do anything to preserve him. There's no moisture to rot. He's dried and he's got a scale looking case in as he pokes his body. He, he's already jerkied. <laughs> Fair point, but I'm saying however... Wanna just tie him to the top of the beer wagon? Hold on, let me let me check something. Uh, okay. Do I see anything denoting uh, any personal effects on um, clothing? You you certainly see, or rather, well, uh, you, you you took the amulet from him. Uh, there was that. Um, you also see uh, the sort of. Um, Sort of blackened, brownish, sort of what look like no noble robes, if you will. Um, you can see across the mantle, um, sort of trimmed with silver and stuff. Uh, looks like the strange runic uh, insignias across the rim. Yay. Alright, I'm going to uh, use uh, realistic. Uh, yeah. Realistic. Ritualistically cast comprehend languages to figure out what that says. All right, go ahead and cast that. That takes okay. ten minutes. I'm just gonna say it. Uh, hmm. But well, yeah, that's what the ritual Yeah, I'm more referring to the fact that Liska doesn't don't. want to spend too much time here. Yeah, that that's also noted. We could do that during camp, too. I have an idea. Look. 
Alright, here's the first step. Mm -hmm. As Arngrim is going to peek around the corner. I'm trying to. Is it, it's not control, is it shift? Yeah, shift. Yeah. Arng Arngrim's gonna just lean over the, the ledge a little bit. Hello! Hello! Who's down there? Which side is he leaning over? Uh, outside. I'm on the opposite side. So am I. Yeah. He, well, like, we're we're Lisk is on the far side of the fort, so. Yeah. He, I know. Like, right. how how loud are you yelling? <laughs> Not too loud, just to the bottom. All right, different plan. All right, so here you go. First part. This as holds the head out to her. Okay, grabs it. <laughs> All right. He grabs the body and starts going down the stairs. Come on, then! <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> um. Fucking <laughs> stairs. It's all oh, had to be uh, fucking stairs. Looking at the, the stuff in the skeleton mold, yeah. Um. Yeah. The, yeah, the, the, let's the, 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 the plate uh, is just, it's, 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 it's rusted, it is ragged. Um. Not very not good condition. Um, not worth salvaging, gotcha. Probably not. Uh, it's all shit. And from from why well, I, well, I, I, I can't say that you're not good with good with magic, so really um, not. <laughs> but you've uh, you've taken the the sword, yeah, Liska. Yep. All right. It's a fairly weighty looking great sword. Uh, looks looks a bit rusted, uh, kind of jagged at the edges. Mm. Um. <clears throat> so, Liska, by the way, has gone back over to where the giant was and where that mm -hmm. uh, kind of mauled mace, whatever it was, slightly stuck between it and the tree. Oh yeah. And she's gonna give it one more try before they leave. All right, make an athletics check. <laughs> All right. Where is she? I can't see Lisa. She's Way on the, the fuck over here somewhere, I think. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's right. cool. And I'm going to check. 21. Where is this? You pull and pull with all your might before it finally cracks. Blah. And the the tr uh, it, it kind of fractures the, the, the dried bark of the tree. And you kind of stumble back on your ass. And you have this massive about... I would say about uh, 10 to 15 foot long giant club. Alright. Probably wouldn't so, be able to use it in battle, but it's a good trophy. Hey, you know, it's about polearm size 4, so that's fine. Yeah. Um. Alright. So yeah, she, she's like, she looks at it, it's like, yeah, awesome. Fuck and then she's gonna come back to the party with it just kind of like over her shoulder. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> just, just big old smile on her face. Yeah. Uh, like, look of course. Like you feel pretty proud of yourself. <laughs> yep. <laughs> hey, sir, can you come take a look and see any of this shit is magical? I don't think the armor is. It looks crap. Not even worth the metal you could get out of it. Sal looks visibly tired. Oddly tired. You are right there? So I just... With half-lidded, tired eyes, like she's about to just fucking... Keel over and sleep. Like... No. It's just the mild gesture to everything around them. I, I don't think I'm alright. Right, well, I'll get Dijon to take a look at that. You... you cop a squat for a sec. I'm gonna cop a squat anyway. Might as well spend some time looking at this. Mm, there we go. Fucking... Just don't don't wreck your eyes doing it or something or whatever the hell you use to look at magic. Sal just turns to look at Vellum. I'm not the one named after old paper. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure lines aren't grey. Uh, you're missing an L anyway. Uh and she's gonna cast that into fire on the uh 
I'll have you know there are two spellings of vellum. <laughs> I know, that's why I said you're missing an L anyway. So, uh, wait, on, on what? Like the armor? No, no, just whatever's on the skeleton lord, because... Okay. I'm casting Identify on the armor itself, because that's usually yeah, the yeah. most magical yeah. thing. Okay. You kind of, um... Close your eyes, wave your hand across the this, this rude and ramshackle armor. Um... You detect what may have been the latent essence of magic. It may have been magic at one point, but it has long since faded over the centuries. And is now just a mundane piece of armor. There's a sword and a bow on him, but I don't know if it's worth much. Uh, it used to be magical, the armor, but, well, it's way past its expiration date, I guess. Oh, didn't know magic I am wore off. S some do, some don't, mostly because whoever enchanted it either didn't do a good job about it, or they really didn't care. Right, well, uh, good to know we're not missing any opportunities. Mm. Mm. Could also be that you know, and then Sal just gestures to the skeleton itself, and then more bog around her. Might just be that this place also drains the ever living shit out of everything. Hmm. Well, maybe, maybe whoever put a magic on it didn't mean for it to last long. Maybe. Right. Let's let's get moving and get you some rest. Need a shoulder or anything, or...? I need a nap. Alright, come on, lean on me and we're off we go. Alright. As you, one by one, you sort of trundle your way back to the steam hammer. And uh, just for the sake of ease, I, I can just drag you all back there. Also, oh. back with my steam hammer and open anything. Sorry? You trying I don't to... seem to interact with or open my steam hammer. Have you opened the door? I was able to sneak through a window. Uh, I don't ooh. have that option. Right, hang on. It's a yes. static object or something that I don't have control over my own sheet. Did you forgot the keys? <laughs> you forgot the keys. Shit! Ah, where'd I leave them? They could be anywhere in the fort. You left, oh, oh. you left it running oh, in. Oh wait, I'm the key. You left it running inside with the doors locked. Fuck! <laughs> it's been with our ranger friend inside. <laughs> let me let me just um. Whoop. Take the other one away. <laughs> now there's two of them. Oh god, they have two tanks. Ugh. There you go. <laughs> well, I'm actually curious. Oh, so, Where do does I your... Active. Sorry. That's fine. Because I can... Go ahead. Wait. Oh. There we go. Now it works. Thank you. Please continue. Uh, um, I was curious, so Dejar did mm -hmm. the barrier just outside the walls, right? Mm -hmm. So How big is 200 feet? Well, up to, but if you want to do 200 feet, that's fine. Either yeah, way, as did. soon as they walk past through the barrier, Liska's going to turn around to see what it looks like. It Cause looks... She's curious because she hasn't seen the outside of the barrier before. Yeah. I didn't mean to do that. Whoops. How, how do I deselect that? Oh no. Oh no. Hang on, hang on. Uh, you know, trying to escape. measure! <laughs> so it looks like um, Joy screen reload doesn't work. It, it 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 looks it looks like uh, this this just just wall of dark fog essentially, um, almost like the sort almost like the kind of a the darkness spell, um, except it, you, it's, it's like it's like vague it's like vague sort of shapes of of the fort. You 
can see through it, but beyond that you can't make out any detail whatsoever. Nor can you actually hear anything from beyond the veil. Interesting. Alright. Yeah, this is gonna move on back. And as you it's kinda of look up, it's it's a little bit it's a bit disconcerting almost. You all kind of clamber back into the steam hammer one by one. You all kind of um. Wh where are you sticking this body, by the way? <laughs> as you all <laughs> as, as you all see, Dejar and Angum is kind of just kind of taking this, this this strange desiccated mummified body of some sort of lizard creature with you. Uh, I thought Angum was gonna put it somewhere. Hello. Where, where, where are you gonna put the body again? I was gonna just tie it to the side of the beer wagon. Hmm. It's dust on the. It cannot rot. It's, it's the fucking mummy. Severe kind of. Se Severe kind of calls out. Um, what is that? What did you bring from the forest? That's what we're trying to find out. Look, this look at this thing! As he holds up the corpse. It's fucking weird! <laughs> Sal just for a moment looks at the corpse, looks at this char holding the head of said corpse and just be like... I'm going to I'll sleep see. now. Okay, I, if, if I have a nightmare There's a wee cot in the tank. It's me sized, so curl up. There's also a bed in Honestly, the wagon, so... I oh, will... yeah, no. Hmm. But my tank is heated. Is your wagon heated? Oh, yeah. Pretty cozy. For a moment, Sal actually looks like she's contemplating going with Arngrim's tank. <laughs> Tiny <laughs> cot inside the heated tank. Uh, you know what? He just puts the head in, in, or, in, into the bag of holding. Uh, later, and I'll Wait, talk about it. Later. I still have enough room. It's, it's mm, she looks. It's not that full. Okay, I'll squeeze his shoulders. You start from the top and work it down. All right. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> will, will this burst the bag? Mm, I don't think so. How? How much would the body weigh anyway? That's a good idea. <laughs> Iron girls to give an estimate. Because my bag, currently, if I look at it. Yeah, I have. It, it, it weighs 186 pounds and items so it's um, still out of five yeah this 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 body uh well, well i mean most of the weight has been taken away so uh it weighs it weighs about 150 pounds uh, he, he gets in he, he gets in here he's got the volume for it you don't have too much big but lightweight uh, yeah he gets in here no, All right, I did my due diligence. If your bag explodes, not on me. And he will hold the body upright and squeeze it so Dejar can get it in. Yep. All right. As you, the body is thankfully thin enough um, that it, it, it is able to fit in. Although you do have a lot of stuff in your bag right now, Dejar. Um, it's it it. This is probably about as much as you're going to fit in. Yeah, it's fine. A little later during camping, I'll, I'll, I'll do do what I need to. All right. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna sit on with uh, it. Yeah. <laughs> 
Severe kind of looking at this, just shrugs his, sh shrugs his shoulders. Uh, people are very weird, but uh, we will continue on. Although I can't it. enter the wagon, it's still some just out here behind it. All oh, right, <laughs> yeah, uh, right. Hang on, that's that's because uh, the doors do not appear to be working. Door stuck. Door stuck. Door stuck. I'm <laughs> again. Let me in. Door stuck. There you go. All right. One by one. You continue off onto the road. There's uh, Grunker, Severe, making their way up front to guide the both of you. Uh, the both vehicles and the rest of you. The day continues on and the hours pass. The air grows somewhat colder. But eventually you are able to make up, uh, make camp for the night. Uh. Oh shit! A campsite screen. Oh no, my PC. <laughs> I hear the fan. <laughs> uh, right, right. First, he thanked them. If that's in order. Slinged all those spells. Zajar spends a moment to conjure up the private sanctum spell. You watch as this, uh, this cloak, uh, eventually, after about 10 minutes, this cloak of darkness fills the general area. A small. A huge. Darkness? Uh, no. The no, no. Private sanctum. Private sanctum. Yeah. Just watch her sluggishly uh, sit back down on the the log around the campfire. You set up for the evening. What do you wish to do, if anything? Right, right. Hold, Angram. Where are you? Angram, where are you at? Well, oh, around the campfire. Ah, right. Sorry. A little tired. Uh, she reaches into her bag and gets a two bottles filled with uh, the shadow essence. While you guys were over there on the other side of the fort, I grabbed this. And off the uh Gary armored skeleton it would just float in there I would best to Ooh. oh hold on hand starts to come out with little wiggly fingers Gibby. ah Spirit fingers. On just what might this be? The mustache is begun touching in her. I don't know. You tell me. Also, I found this. If I can, if I can, on. There we go. He's holding up the fucking bottles. Hmm. Hmm. As he lifts one on the left side and looks at it, looks at it, then lifts the one on the right and sort of goes back and forth, I'm trying to hold him up in the light. Damn twilight can't see a thing. Well, whatever it is, I can tell you it's gray. Also. These she hands. I found this one in the chest and one on the body. It 
I have no idea what these are. Um, explain, please? Oh, and these are the the not the, good kind? These are the, yeah. <laughs> the, the two common soul stones. Yeah, these are the not good kind of soul stones. I've been hunting necromancers in around Kate uh, Katesh it, but I've never seen any of What the hell are these? Ah ah as he kinda is looking at the bottles and then sets them down and just grabs the two from you. You notice before he grabs them, he takes the time to just reach in and get whatever fucking heavy gloves he had off while preparing food, right? Whatever heavy oh. gloves he has, puts them back on and then grabs them. What? What? These what? are soul stones. They're highly illegal and immoral and uh, fucking dangerous. Uh, it's, uh, I'm gonna have to make some shit up, because I didn't get a whole lot of lore gen or so. I, 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 I believe I'm, it should be in, in the item itself, in the item description. I was asking, I asked for, like, dwarven lore. Oh. Like, their cultural take on, you know, myths and stuff, but now I'm gonna wing it. <laughs> Damn it, I keep hitting the wrong button. These are a very dangerous item. The soul stones. Historically speaking, they first appeared during the War of Undying, or at least first recorded. Some myths go back and say that these were the first tears shed by Kusata when exiled and his last. Others say it's a small piece of some tormented soul put together meant to steal the joy and purpose from some living creature that it never got in its own life. Either way, they are a lot like many other magical elements and they come in degrees of potency all of which foul, wicked and corrupting some may argue the eh, finer philosophies of good and evil and what is just and unjust but these are outright evil Objectively so, they do something and they twist the mind of those who use them and hold them. Or, well, at least the holding part is said. That's more dwarven superstition, but better safe than sorry. Uh... I can't recommend that you... Grab these if you find more. I recommend you tell me. If anything goes wrong, I can sanctify him. I'm just gonna refresh. Uh, whoops. But it's highly. Uh, what's what's a non-alarming way of saying this? Imagine something that at any moment could potentially take your soul. It's not good. If you listen closely to one, instead you can hear the screams of the damned. A soft wailing and moaning. Mm. All uh, you really need to know, for certainty, all aside, is that they're dark, powerful artifacts, and they're highly illegal. But we're not in Mayland, are we? In most places, they're legal. Pretty sure here as well. Given the uh, 
history. But I'll hold on to these. I know you're very much of the uh, whooshy swooshy type as he wiggles his fingers and some gestures in the air and then points at your spell book. Arcane scholar. But yes. Sure. I prefer the term with the whooshy swooshies. As he tries to make light of the serious moment. But <laughs> they are very powerful and very useful in magic. Sometimes a spell may call for one. Generally they are spells that are very destructive and deadly. Kind of like what uh, was used on our little friend here. That what was used on our that that friend of I'm, ours. I'm not say I'm not saying it was used. I don't know for sure, but I'm saying at least the clerics at home would say that these might be used as catalysts for spells which deal necrotic power, or death, or even if it's not true, just for superstition. Whether or not it really magically works that way, or if it's just a vessel, I'm, I haven't bothered experimenting to find out. But I know that they are powerful. Yeah. If you need to use these, I'll let you, but I'll hold on to them and I'll supervise. Because otherwise you very quickly could, well, turn into what you hunted. Yeah, see, I'm... I'm absolutely glad about that. Another thing, my mentors, my teachers never told me about this, any of this. I, I, I hunted the necromancers, sure. That was for a <clears throat> darker reason, but uh, yeah, no, none of that was brought up. I, I hmm. I have, that brings to more questions as to why would they not tell me about any of this? Uh, right. Also, she looks down her, at herself. Uh, are you good at making armor leather armor I guess like you, anything you said it. You, you, you. I, you cut that for me <laughs> are, are you asking me to make leather yeah leather yes not not really no mm. Most of what I have to do has got to be a good piece of metal in it. Hmm. I... I've seen some armor that had, like... Uh... uh he's trying to look for the word. Uh... metal on on the leather i why is trade tongue so hard studded yeah that's the word studded leather armor i uh, can you do that can you make some for me please i, I, I can pay that might be not enough metal to be honest with you uh, uh. great mm. how much metal do you need Generally, it's fair to say majority. I might be able to try, but sometimes it just doesn't work. I mean, it can form non-metal parts when I use my magic, right? But at the same time, 
Well, no. Hold on. As he begins to, to think and he checks the back of his shield. Hmm. Can you use your fancy magic to change things? Uh, trying to meet things? Yes, yes, I can. Can you make things into love? Uh, hmm. Let me check my notes real quick. Yes, because your me... other option is we start skinning what we find here. Mm, he, he looks apprehensive. Just waves her hand like, no, no, "Let me, tr let me try looking at my notes first before we we're getting to, to any of that." But the, mm -mm. <laughs> Well, I believe you should be able to as a transmutation wizard. Yeah, but I'm ruffling that, that that bit out. Yeah. Like, I, mm -mm. <laughs> uh, I think, yeah, I think I can. I, I can, we can definitely give it a try. Uh, I... I might... Be able to take to use that spell. Normally, I have to all end that in in types of skills. I'm not sure if leather working is something I have to do. Even though I already have you know blacksmithing and armor smithing, I don't know if it would be able to work. But I have no problems trying. It just takes ten minutes. Uh, I mean, hmm. Are there any of us that are, uh, yeah. that can work with leather? I mean, I can, I can create it, but well, uh, I got to work on setting up dinner. So how about you go ask somebody else for a minute? Sure. So, sure. mate, she wears. Granka, he's he's actually a well Just ask him. Oh. Right, I can I can definitely ask both of them, but uh, let me look at this body on here first before I do. There's something I wanted to check first. Uh, hmm. Okay. So I'm going to ritualistically cast Comprehend Languages and find out what the fuck is the, the text on the mental of this body. All right. Did you, did that, did that come Earth. through? It did. I don't know her if I face, should be able to understand that. <laughs> her face just goes from joyous to blank. Like her scales could go any any darker. It's just like the life has been sucked out of her face <laughs> with her, that emotion. Oh boy. Uh hmm. Takes a few minutes. Right. Have any of you heard about about Dragonborn? So I was sort of pipes up and just looks over to the shard. Uh, I would assume all dragons are born. And that's the then no, 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 no. I'm talking about 
what is commonly agreed on as a fictional race in uh, children's books so, dealing with all good. Uh, dealing with a fictional place that not many could find or so I'm told or a Kalos I think is the name oh we're talking about that or Kalos again yeah, didn't we find out a whole load about that, so? We kinda did, but the library was, well, rather sparse besides what they called storybooks. Right, well... He points down to this body and brings the head out of her uh, bag of holding. Placing it on top of the chest. Well, pointing to the body, this right here, minus the fluids that were forcibly taken from this fellow, is a dragonborn. Do not ask how I know this. Not yet. Well, hopefully, so if just we do meet any others, they'll be a bit more uh, alive. So I was just blink a little, <laughs> looking at the absolute piece of dragon jerky, <laughs> and, and then back to the jar. Why is it that the only quote unquote real clue we have for this Oricalus place. It's a dried up piece of jerky. I wouldn't say that's the first clue. So uh, gestures to herself and then Vellum. No. Remember the our little friend who's on the other, uh, got teleported. Uh, what's her name? Vladimir. Little short. Vladimir, yes. She's carrying a very, uh, important package, if I remember correctly. Yeah, and, uh... N hold on a second here. This is for the party itself. I don't recall if we have introduced the shard to this or not, or it might just be my I, brain pulling a fucking fire. I remember that I think we did. Not. Yeah, I uh, know. He's the one who mentioned it. Before. I think, yeah, I think it was back in Dune, not though. Like, she yes. was knowing about it and all that shit. That's why she's trying to be vague as possible. Hmm. Well, uh, don't know what else we're gonna find here, but might be good to get something out of this. So I'm alive. On that note, dealing with this, don't want to say too much, but we might, from one of my mentors, said that there was something dealing with that key I told you about in Dune Hollow. Do you remember the key scroll? That that thing. Yeah, I remember. Is um, somewhere in the bog about it. Yeah, he told me something about a. I can't. The Dorvan name keeps. Fucking messing with me. Uh, I said it before the last last two nights. Hold on. This is giving me the player to look back in my notes for the for the name. Uh, Bronvarkson. Uh, Bron Bronvarkson. Yes. Yeah. 
He had something to do with the key. Our group kind of turns and 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 looks at you. Yes. What? What makes you say that name? My mentor, Boris, told me that a a blacksmith that was picked out from his clan had something of value and was pursued to here in a ruined temple as to why I do not know but there's been several attempts to try and get whatever he had back but there's been well looks down to the body some interference Oh, and what I just learned off this body, well, the remnants of his nobility, House Mortifax. I think he's a follower of the, uh, um, the dragon that prowls this, uh, this Morbog. Wait, I'm a little confused. So, what's the major significance of the Ferrixen clan being here? And do you mean Bron Ferrixen the Black Imp? That exact one. I'm sorry, I, I'm not saying his name right. How did you? No, it's fine. I, I just. I'm here also looking for him, or his resting place. But w what does he have to do with it? I'm sorry, I'm not understand. From what Seems my my adopted father, my teacher, told me about the black and he had the key. I think he stole it. Or some or to some degree, and he ran here. So basically, and something we want is here in the bog somewhere. A, a key to what? That. Oh, she's going to put it. That thing you say is the the uh, it's hocus pocus. Uh, hang on, you I think I wrote it in. down. Uh, don't worry, I'm grim. I get lost with it. I get lost with it as well. I'm grim. Land land no, no. Uh, things are fate. Oh. Uh, Ron so fucking stole the key to fate? Sal looks between everybody here, very confused, very concerned, and very tiredly. What? Hang on, hang on, everybody calm down, I, I got it in. So it's like scrambling in his bag with a bit of... Uh, right, uh, Sorry, there's some sunken ruins here, and it's got some kind of crystal tablet that is a key to something. That's that's what Dejar's talking about. And apparently that bloke brought it here, and that's why it's here. And the mortal effects is, I'm assuming the... Uh, Jardine it, yes, because this bloke here is of her house or a follower of of her. So explains kind why of, it's a little bit wonky. Yeah, so the interference of there's been some expeditions to try and get said uh, crystal tablet, but points to the by interference. 
and the dragon and hunting bog so yeah there's that well we don't know how many there have been before us but it might be smart for us to be the next expedition fucking get those things you know and with that that guy right there gestures towards the jerky his name is Jerk. Yeah, we're just kidding. <laughs> I... uh, we'll just call so him the Jerk. With 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 that with us finding that guy might mean we're getting closer. I mean, why else it wouldn't be way out in nowhere if he was. Uh, we, uh, I might be able to do something, but I've got to. I have to know where it is. Can you do any sort of scrap if you know a name or if you have something that's deeply related to the person, like something they made? Yes, I can I can definitely do that. Is there a way for me to be able to see what you've scribed? So I can be familiar with the sites or something like that. Uh hmm. hmm. I can possibly use a spell to there was, was there was that that uh, that item she had where she could cast that uh, cantrip through give visions of her memories. She did do that once before. Could yeah, do that. Do that I would. I would have to do it in. Okay, so he looks around, thinks for a moment, goes into her bag and brings out a, a mirror. I. I could do this. Would I? Takes a breath. Remember that time where you did the Dawn of Truth? I. Oh, I think and you did the thing. Yeah, I, I spilled my guts. I and I you, hated that moment. <laughs> can you. Well, now I know the test you. Uh, mostly. Uh, can you do that and let me see what you scry? Yes, I would have to do it immediately after I, I'm done scrying. Okay. Well, I'll turn to the... the uh, he turns to the others. I like your thought on this. I recently learned, after a lot of practice... Half... Divination of sorts, interestingly. Um, it allows me to find the path a place I'm familiar with. If I have you scry and find that, and then I see your memory as if I've actually seen the place and I know it, then I can find just great how to get there. It's just straight line. It's like um like a trail of will the wisp but far less malevolent. Basically, uh, you would be, you would have the scent of, uh, of the, of the item or the path to it and no okay. distractions. Got it. And okay. If you are able to use this as he fishes beneath his shirt and pulls out on a chain, a fancy signet ring as a type of conduit something they've made and put their soul and effort into as you know like maybe if you have a lock of hair or something like that sometimes it works I heard uh, maybe this would work let you scry his last remains we have his full name and his title maybe this will work if we do that and I'd be able to find the exact path and turns to the others how do you feel about us trying to find this place in the bog 
because I really need to. I made a promise to my king and my people that I would find it and I'd kind of go there and figure out what's going on. Well, you all be okay with that? Personally, I'm alright with it. I mean, it was always an option that if we'd be able to go, probably should. And if you can make that easier, then I'm all for it. What about the rest of you? I personally don't mind, but I do have one request. Mm, let's no, we won't fight the dragon unless it comes to us. That too, but also let's try and avoid um, black spots. Yeah. Um, just by the nature, the temple probably is a black spot. Just so you know. So um, just size. That was what I was worried about. I mean, I don't know for sure. I, but, you know, just powerful smith of curses. Uh, ornamented and jade goes there. It sounds like the perfect place for a haunting, even without all the, you know, more bog fuckery. He points yeah. to her, the uh, the barrier. I could technically try uh, placing that onto the temple. Big enough. Maybe. I don't know how big it will be. If that's, you know, a bubble of... You shall not come in here. It's, it's a, an ease on the mind. So, I'm wanting to... Do this crying, at least so I can know where it is myself, and then go there. I intend to go there. I kind of have to. I took an oath. So, I'll phrase it this way. Hands up. Who is willing to join me find this temple? The hands immediately goes up. Valentine goes up. With a tired sigh, Sal raises her hand slowly. For a one, you're the one of the only other people in this party that can actually, you know, revive people if they kill over. I prefer you my duty, so yes, I'm coming along. Perfect. Hey, let's go. Oh. Revive. Hmm. Let's go. Where's that woman going off to? So. So I'll point over her shoulder. <laughs> I'm uh, guessing that's a cue to pan over to... Yep, let's to pan over to this guy. You here, Raven? Yeah. All right. So... I'm just... Wait, she's just been gone for like the last yeah. hour or so. It's all fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, as you're kind of strolling in the dim light of the Morbog here, kind of strolling across the side of the, the inky... This sort of sickly greenish waters you, can, you hear the occasional of a, the occasional um, stagnant uh, bubble of air bursting forth from the bog you, before I go you throw out, I'm, I'm kick out the cat just throw that cat out you're like oh. no I kick the cat back into the bog like bad skeleton cat like um, you're bad luck. Well, it's fucking good for doing here. No, that's only if I let it cross my path. Okay. There if I can't get back before it does, then it doesn't count. <laughs> so as you're kind of strolling across the side of the bog, something catches your eye. You've been seeing the occasional uh, body beneath the surface of the water, just, again, sort of perfectly preserved. Um, occasionally you'll still see one every every couple hundred yards as you're travelling you see uh, one face in particular which stands out to you it's a mountain folk face male long blue horns blue mane of hair he's familiar to you She is going to take a question, like, where is it in location? Would she, like, be able to walk to the edge and look, or would she have to be in water? It's around here. Oh, hold 
I need to move the map. Okay. All right. She's going to, in that case, she's going to go right up to the edge and, like, kind of glance down make into the water. Make a perception check. Alrighty then. Nineteen. Yeah. It's, it's very familiar to you. Make a wisdom saving throw. Uh. Oh, all right. Cool. You know what? Do I have? Sorry, I'm trying to think of whether. Got it's not that there it's, and uh, undimmable. It's not been a day yet. No, no, no. Yeah, I'm just trying to think if okay. I don't think I used indomitable yet, so I will use that. Mm -hmm. I recall you specifically used your icon of fate last mm -hmm. saving yep. here. So re-roll that save. 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 Hopefully I'll get higher. No, just 11. You had to say it. <laughs> that's that's not how RNG works, Sam. As you kind of lean forward more, your stomach drops. And you lean forward more and more. The rest of you, uh, Sao Yun, you see out of the corner of your eye um, and you hear what sounds like a splash. Liska and is not inside the barrier. She wouldn't see or hear any of this. Oh, oh no. Is 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 two hundred? Yeah, a hundred feet away from the center. She moved outside the barrier because she wanted to see something. Oh shit! Oh, why did she not this use the buddy work. system? Because the buddies were talking. <laughs> Important question here: mm -hmm. How does the barrier function? Can we get that spell read? Because I actually do not know. Hey, give me a second. If I remember right, it. Is an option? Yeah. Yeah, I'm Not gonna do that anyway. Can... Remember, right? There's she can choose an option to have it uh, stop sound from passing, mm -hmm. which she's done all pre previous nights. Yep. You decide what sort of security the spell provides. Choose any or all of the following. What? What did you choose when you? I guess rather, have you told default what your janner is when you? Yeah, my default is, uh, basically is warded to appear dark and foggy. Uh, sound cannot be passed through the through the barrier edge at the uh. It's warded been all of them. Area. <laughs> it's it's been all. Yeah. Of them. Ex yeah, basically, except for the uh, pl uh the planer. No, the planer so we prevents black spots. Oh, actually, that would that would depend on what you do after you learn that it could potentially do that after the castle. Yeah. But yeah, that's that's basically it. All right. So you kind of kind of call around you. Where's this girl? She's she's not around. Mm. Right. Oh, Should I like also this. say that this was about an hour ago, so y'all have been yeah. talking this entire time. So, uh, so what happens to Liska? Because she mm -hmm. left, and this immediately happened. So, yep. what's going on? All right, so mm. you feel the cold, sudden shock of cold, clammy water hit your face, and you feel dizzy as you fall face first into what you presumed was that familiar face of uh, familial relations and you find yourself swimming paddling through thick thick water you see you see just darkness all around you 
All right. And is there any, like, is it pure darkness? Can I get a sense of what's up and what's down? Generally, yes. So you can see uh, as you're kind of peering through through the water, it, it's um sort of this this dim this this uh I would describe it this dim sort of ever present ambient uh, green haze around you. Uh, you can see the occasional brush of um of of dead uh, of dead grass uh, passing your vision, and you see just beyond the vision. face of your brother. Ghastly white. Almost skeletal. You see sort of singed and burned in places as if what looks like these spidering like black veins of, of a shock aftermath as if he's of his, of his, as if he's been uh, seared with electricity. And you hear... Why didn't you come to save me? Liska is going to... just... There's like a moment of wavering of just like extreme guilt, then also just like a flare of anger. Uh, it's like, well, she's underwater. She can't speak right now without mm. drowning herself. Uh, she's just going to... Uh, kind of brush away or just try to like close her eyes and brush away this vision before her and just try to find just oh did you did you cut out just so i don't know did i oh there you go sorry no. uh, it's it catching up that's all right did you hear what i said she's basically going to try to close her eyes brush away the vision and try to find some way to get out of the water mm -hmm. because she doesn't want to be here right now. Alright. Um, just go ahead and make a dexterity saving throw to try and scramble and then try to, try to see if you can purchase yourself on any sort of rock uh, outcropping. That's a low roll. Oof. You you're try you're trying to swim through the thick reeds, but you, you can't you can't you can't find any purchase. You're e e even at uh, even at this depth, your 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 hooves are having trouble trying to find any sort of purchase. Um, you see the vision of your brother reaching out a skeletal hand towards your face. You can also see other figures beginning to emerge from the th the thickness of, of the dead reeds. Clouding the around the the base of your of your scrambling hooves as adrenaline starts to kick in. Uh, how long can you hold your breath? Oh, uh, that is five minutes. Right. Uh, hmm. It's one minute plus your con mod. Right. Okay. Uh. So. I gotta. So give me a sec. I just gotta check the ruling on this. I'm not liking this. If we lose Liska here, I'm gonna be. Well, it's yeah, fine. You know? Maybe if she runs out of air, she has drowning time. Yeah, five rounds. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look, I'm trying so to be optimistic. Okay. She's got fifty rounds. If she can hold her breath without, and I'm not trying, 50 rounds if she can hold her breath without it being disrupted, right? That's more of like an old school 3.5 Pathfinder. If you do things, it could happen. I don't know properly the rules if that translated over, but it might be fair to say that you could lose some time if you get punched in the gut and some air escape mm. or 
you know, you're doing strenuous activity and your oxygen levels goes up. You know, th that's up to, I think, the player and the DM to discuss. Yeah. But that's 50 rounds still. Yeah, from what, sure I recall, from what I recall, it's generally a concentration check, quote unquote, or con save to keep air if you get hit. Yeah, yeah. That sounds fair. I think it. I yeah, think that makes sense. Con over concentration. Okay. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> Am I about to have to roll initiative to fight my dead bro? Oh fuck! You might actually have to. I really hope you've got something in your bag that can help you out of this. <laughs> Five minutes is not a lot. Uh, let's see. I will say, as you find yourself beginning to lose consciousness, as your air begins to escape you, make me a con save. Has it been five minutes she's been down there? Yeah, you guys have been talking this whole this whole entire time. Yeah, well, I mean, we, well, by the time we even get done talking, they've been t so they've been talking, but we're. I think Atlas was more talking about from five minutes since Liska went into the water. Like, has oh, it been yeah. five minutes by her you, frame of time? Yeah, that's what he's asking. Because yeah, it that's... has been one encounter. One thing happened. He sentenced. The face got closer, and now she's out of air. You know what I mean? Oh, oh, right, right. Hang on. Sorry. Uh, so. so yeah. So, so fuck don't, I feel don't. like she should have more time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's just rushed ahead with this kind of thing because time-sensitive yeah. events like this are, mm -hmm. you know, you don't want to, you know, bum rush it. Yeah, let's let's, yeah. let's let's not play it loose with that. I don't think we have to count down every single round of fifty. But we should definitely be very sparing with the amount of time she has before she actually. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's no more lung air left in my lungs or my body, and now I'm, now I'm drowning. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, no. okay, okay, okay. So, uh, the Constitution saving throw. Well, we um, with a 17, you do you do still manage to retain a hold of your air. So, uh, because <laughs> this is. It's a bad situation. Yeah, like yeah. don't don't hold back. Yeah, this yeah. is stressful. <laughs> Go for it. As the the hand, I'm just saying. Like, does sorry to interrupt the thing. So my my question is, mm -hmm. with falling in, getting or like like getting oriented, seeing my brother, him saying something, and Liska trying to get out and failing that deck save. How much time does she have left? Not talking. Right. I'm talking like minutes. Like, right. how much time does she have left? About uh, four minutes. Four minutes left. Okay. Okay, cool. So continue with what you were about to say. Okay. The hand sort of begins to reach out and tries to grasp for what could be the, 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 the scruff of some sort of shirt. And it said it, 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 see, it feels as though it's, it's trying to grasp upon your heart. You feel a cold rush just begin to surge through your veins. The memories come back to you, one after the other. Those tormenting memories of your brother. I don't want to kind of say for, 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 for spoilers here. Um, but those last moments you spent with your brother, those those thoughts and feelings of... of how could I have done better? How could I have saved him? How could I... How could I have not betrayed him? As they begin to set in... Make another wisdom save. <laughs> Do you still have an indomitable? Nope. You only get one at this level. Can I... Since this is an important narrative moment, may mm -hmm. I give her my inspiration? You may. All right. There you go, buddy. Don't roll a two. Here, here comes a three. Hey. 20. Okay. I rolled 20. a two. I'm sorry. From, from the brink. Fucking okay, yes. Just add that zero. You. Oh, yeah, there's a zero behind it. You. The last one was a two with a zero before. 
<laughs> you begin to feel that cold surge through your veins and that, that guilt ridding your mind. You see his face before yours, mere inches. You don't want to remember your brother like this. You push away that memory and remember, remember happier times when you spent training. And suddenly he's no longer there. Three minutes left. Okay. Are there other things still around me? Like skeletal creatures? No more, go no, no more ghostly figures around you. But you're holding on to your breath as much as you can. And you can feel the bog trying to just trying to drag you down. There are no more there are no more spectral apparitions trying to reach out for you. Then Liska will Ooh, does she try Ooh, I don't know if she tries that. Um Okay. She is going to Nah, she's just gonna try to go for the shore. She saw something earlier that would have mm -hmm. allowed her to maybe get something, and she's gonna try for that again. Alright. Oh, uh, I should also say, yeah, you, you would have suffered a bit of psychic damage from that as well. So, That's fine. give me, uh, so this would be, there we go, oh, no, that's the wrong one. Uh, eh, sorry, this new dice roll has been a bit weird. There we go. Hey, I just saw that. 2d20 damage? <laughs> Alright. Sorry. What? 2d20? No, Whoa! Uh, no, hang on, hang on. Sorry, <laughs> that should be 2d10, not 2d20. I was saying, <laughs> saying it, it, spe <laughs> it specifically calls out in the player's handbook that you shouldn't use a d20 for damage. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry, uh, okay, that's the wrong one. So 2d10, there you go. <laughs> that's fine. Alright. So I'll give you a 2 15. I get it. Okay. Imagine rolling d20s for damage. I already, I already did it, Jenner. Oh, they all out of oh no, now you're badly injured. Now you're regularly injured. <laughs> this is bad. Alright, so, so, one more deck save to try and grasp out for any, any sort of land you could get. Twelve. You, you begin to kind of scrape <laughs> some stone. <laughs> I'm a plus seven. I'm just rolling low. That's all. Yeah, you begin to sort. Of, you are thrashing about on the surface. You, 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 you found surface, and you're trying to grasp a hold of the slippery rock. We can't hear this, can we? No, nope. you can't hear. You can't hear any any of this. She went outside the bubble, and this was long before we stopped talking. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, two minutes. Going to. Does the bubble stop sound from coming in, or just sound from coming out? Both, Both. ways. Both ways. So you got two minutes. I feel bad at this. <laughs> uh, Does everyone have any inspiration? To... <laughs> I, it's I fine. Uh, it's fine. Mind. Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, yeah, she's going to like the proverbial skier, or like cross-country skier. She's going to use her sword and her shield as like and try to jam them into the ground to All help right. pull herself forward. Okay. Um... Try to jam. So this would require some 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 amount of strength to do so. Kind of try, especially kind of wading through the water. Um, I will say, just go ahead and make an athletics check for me. So she's using the the sword and shield as extra reach. Uh, she's using them as like pinions to stick them into the ground. Yeah, to pull just go forward. Just kind of thunk into the into the side of the the the, the, um, the slippery uh, embankments here. When with the 21, oh, you sense. do successfully manage to jam your shield into the bottom of the embankment, as well as your, as well as your, your the, uh, the slayer's blade. And you do have some, you do gain some sort of leverage. So, man, got, this would be a real bad time for it to disappear back to the arena. Yeah. So you got, uh, <laughs> so this would be two minutes. Uh, one, let's see, uh, one more de deck save with advantage. This would bring you down to one minute if this fails. With advantage? Yep, with advantage. 
18. That is just what you needed. As you scramble up on top of the slippery embankment, you're kind of grasping your sword. <gasps> kind of sputtering out stagnant and foul water. I will say, with that entire experience, you would gain another another stack of sorrow. Oh no. That, right. that would be mildly horrifying. Well, it is... A, you mean just a first stack? Sorry, a, 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 yeah, a first stack of sorrow. Gotcha. Um, so, as soon as Liska sits and manages to pull herself out, uh, she's going to kind of just fall to her knees and just scream, like, in anger, in anguish, in rage, just, like, a long throaty piercing roar uh, and then she just kind of kind of fall to her hands and knees and just like sob and kind of curl up a bit into a ball and just as the emotions of her brother and stuff that she hasn't thought about for decades just comes rushing back and she's going to just cry. And then after about five or ten minutes, she's going to just kind of calm herself, compose herself. And she's going to pick up her sword and shield and she's going to walk back inside, just still dripping with swamp water. Mm -hmm. As the rest of you are sort of finishing up your conversations, you see Liska emerging from beyond the veil. Clearly, back into the time. Clearly, traumatized to some degree. Well, well, I, I would say that Liska would very much like. I pose herself. Yeah, like no, took, mask it. She okay. took the time. Yeah, she took the time to do it. But yeah, yeah. you would notice that there's like like swamp plants on her armor like it's still kind of dripping like she like something happened yeah so dipping back Wait, to the time so right raise hand oh, oh it's me what is this let's go oh there you are uh, Wait, holy oh, shit what what, what the burning he looks like behind to the cart and he looks to the door to the cart. I thought you were. Let's go. All right, what happened? Uh, no, it's it's fine. Just wanted to take a uh, brief little look. Ah, oh, fuck! I forgot. Hold on. And she's gonna turn and walk back out. <laughs> and she's gonna walk back through the barrier, take a second, and she's going to look around and question at night. And this is what she was originally going to do before all this shit happened. At night, is there like a fog cover? Is cover? Is there like a cloud cover? Like, is the night preternaturally dark? It's. it's or are there like stars? Um, do is, like does the moon shine through? No, 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 no moon, no stars. Just bitter chill and fog. Okay, so. When she walks outside the barrier and looks at it, you can't see it against the blackness of the night, right? Because during the day, it stands out because it's just a black fucking cube. Yeah, the, as opposed um, to at night, it is hidden by the darkness. At at night, uh, nighttime here is a it's um, it would be considered dim light, not darkness. It's 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 this this strange twilight that constantly hangs over the that hangs over the moorbrook and and day, daytime is only mildly brighter than nighttime here oh good day. so so there's like an unnatural light then at night sorry for burping 
Um, yeah, no. You could say that, yes. It's it, okay. It's so, so I guess my I guess my question is, and the reason Lisco went out there to check is during the day a giant black fucking thing drew attention. Is this thing visible enough at night to draw attention? Probably not. Okay. So yeah. So with ascertaining that, Liska is going to walk back inside and come back up to the party after like coming in. They're all saying, "Oh shit, what the fuck happened?" And then she's like, "Oh fuck, hold on," and then walks back away again. And then she comes walking back, like, "Okay, no, yeah, it's fine." Why what? doing sprays? Where have you been? What happened to you? You're fucking soaked. Come get by the fire. Yeah, you're yeah. so soaked How and slumped. Oh, it's it, it. Thank you. I, I guess I will. She's gonna come up and chill by the fire. Um, uh, it was just, you know, like just wanted to check something and didn't want to be around. Like, I just wanted to see whether or not the barrier was, uh, I guess, visible at night. Whether or not, because you know, during the day it's brought attention mm. because it was it stood out so much by that night it's it seems fine oh, that's oh, okay what does it do of... that you took us so oh, it's just her eyes a little Sweet. are you also one of the few people here that doesn't have the ability to see in the dark yeah did you misstep you could say that Oh right! No, no one walks off without anyone else. Uh, well, I mean, I'm here. I'm fine. Let's go. Hold on for a second, and she's going to press and digitate all that shit off, off her. Oh, nice! Thank you. And uh, it. here, take the take this potion. You look kind of banged up. <laughs> I made this. Well, I mean. So, the, I we mean, did have a pretty rough fight early, so it makes sense. I haven't really had time to really yeah. heal up. Well, it reminds me, Grunka. Like, before we use any magic, and she holds up the potion. Which, by the way, I have plenty of here. You can have it back. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah, do you want to... Yeah, if you could. Okay. Um, you know... Yep. As Grunka takes out his healer kit... What wounds does this guy have? Um, beyond like a few sword wounds here and there, probably from the earlier fights in the in the garrison. Mm, not Did much beyond that. Did you have those before? Um, because I think Kroka would probably like before everything like kind of happened, he would probably do a little bit of an assessment. It's like, okay, is anybody really hurt? No, okay, just me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> she she. she Looks like she she these are just the wounds sustained from the clash in the garrison. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um right, well, I'm gonna just cast my little uh wait. I'm gonna do this, gonna do that, and then do this, and then uh no, yes. We heal for that much. Yeah, nice. Nice. And main <laughs> healers keep into a spell because it's much easier that way. Yeah, nice. You know, I ha I have something that may help you with you know seeing in the dark, possibly. Uh, he takes her off a ring that holds the transmitter stone. If I use my magic to make uh, give anyone dark side or uh, help with concentration or anything. I could give it to a person, but once you don't need it and hand it back, I could change it. Would you like to use it during uh, possibly could tonight's uh, watch? Maybe? She could also use a torch or daylight yeah. fire. Or... Yeah, no, I'm, I'm fine. I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. Like, I have... Like... I also have things with which to see at night, and she motions to the fire and the torches on the side of the wagon and the steam tanks. Like I appreciate it, though. It's a, it is a good offer to have. In case you know, I decide mayhaps I want to see in darkness without giving away my position. 
But getting back to the I'm... point here, that, yeah, I know you can handle yourself, Liska, but I still think at least it pays. We don't know what the hell can happen in the place. Oh, well, thanks. <laughs> As Asvan was talking, he's just kind of bandaging around his head. <laughs> Grunk is so fucking wholesome. Yeah. He is. I love him. I, love him. I love hate him. him! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, Sevilla kind of approaches you, Liska. He says, Are you sure you're alright? You had a slip in the bog. Not many people return from that. Yeah, well, not many people are me. Very true. Kind of um, gives you a concerned side eye as he kind of uh, returns to feed Bastion. Liska saying everybody is still giving a chance to be like, People, I am fine. Everything is okay. I am here. Um, I am no longer even wet. There is a warm fire. I am surrounded by friends. It is okay. I, I think you're worth it. You're fine. Think you're fine, but he's that's not. Fine. That may not be the you same know, next time. You start what? acting what? like I'm fine, Vellum. Let's 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 believe her. You know. She says she's then, fine. I do Hard believe her about just, things right now. You you think. Vellum, Obviously, yes, right now is not the time. Yeah, just let's back let's, to you. Fine, fine. I do believe you. You know let's what just, time it is, though. It's dinner time. That does sound good. All right. I'm yes. going to take a short rest. <laughs> yep. Uh, just, um, just a also, short rest. <laughs> I'm a chick. I can take. I can squeeze in a short rest for a long rest. You ain't the boss. <laughs> Yeah. Just uh, while curious. we're continue. <laughs> because while we... until his sleep doesn't inf well until his sleep finishes, he doesn't get the benefits of his long rest doing his shift. Yeah, and if we get jumped in a night I'd rather have full health. Mm -hmm. Yeah. While uh, we're eating dinner, I'm gonna check this the spell books too. Oh because <laughs> Alright. Uh I I have oh, also this the sword, you said that you would identify it or see if yes. it's magical. Yes, give me that too while I check, check these, uh, these tech. Actually, let me check that first before I check the, these books. Alright. Meanwhile, while she is checking that, Sa will sort of hold out her ring of water walking, which she has as an infusement, and just look to Liska. Do you yeah. perhaps have one of these? Obviously, you know, not. Not. Yet. That's why I'm asking. Ugh. I'm mostly thinking about if I should try and make you one. I might have the materials for it, but... It's I'm fine. Sure. I appreciate it. Look, we're in a bog where it's like 50-50 if it's ground or water. At yeah, this but point, like, I'll... I already have a lot of magic items that take up uh, my time, if you know what I'm saying. I know, but this one doesn't. Oh, really? Hmm. Oh, well, wait, so... If that's the case, why haven't you made one for, like, all already? Because making magic items is expensive and time-consuming. And... I am only me. Hmm. Trust me, if, if, I, if I could make more of a lot of the things I've come to know during my travels, I would have made you guys a lot of stuff. But again, magic items um, are expensive. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, you know, do what you want to. It's fine. You do yeah, what you can, and that's uh, the best anyone can ask. Yeah, I appreciate it, regardless. Can I ask you, you know, you guys tend to do this thing where you reach up to your ear and 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 mouth something what is that right yeah so you, when you can so you need to get back on the earrings trust me i've been trying but again you Money. try and replicate something that is rather intricate mm. uh, to okay, answer your question Jajar, they're um they let us communicate on the sly with each other 
distance. And uh, we had a few of them back when we got them, but uh, lots happened since then. Great. Well, since you need any of my spells to help with patients, I <laughs> can actually help. Maps. Uh, on that note, uh, so you know, you good with leather working? <laughs> Mm, no, leather is not really something I've been proficient in, at least working-wise. Her so, body. Well, this uh. this is mostly uh, plated for the chest, along with erudite inlays. That is the work of Vellum. Yeah, this is more half plate than uh, leather work, though. I work mostly with metals and metal-like materials. Yeah, I need leather armor. This didn't they have cost... any at the uh, the fort or something? They didn't. I would have bought it if they did. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> burning sense. This is great. Well, uh, we'll see what we can get when we leave. But for now, just. Either stick close to Liska or as far away from trouble as possible. Oh, trust me, I'm gonna stick to Liska like do if I have to, or hide. Right. I might try and see if I can take up leather working at one point. It is useful for crafting stuff like leather bands and other things. Always yes. gonna have Bobby. Yeah, I was I was hoping you did so I can Angrim could help. Make me some armor, but you know that's kind of uh, neither here nor the there closest, at the moment. Plus, the made of leather is the sling for my rifle, but that is it. Understood. Oh, uh, great. Wait, you? All right. So, uh, the shah. Oh. Those uh, those spells should be in your spellbook in your um. In your bag of holding there for you. So as you all kind of finish up dinner, uh, Angrim, you're 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 trying to cast uh, a spell. Yes. Ah. Uh, Dabbleth. I am. Hmm. It's gonna be this boy. We must target a token. But this is not what are you, a... what are you trying to cast? Well, I guess I'm gonna have to target it on myself. No, what, what? I'm trying to put down Guardian of Faith. Guardian of Faith. <laughs> ah. Okay. Um. Right. Hang on. Give me a second. That shouldn't be like self-target. Uh, Guardian. Of faith. It's a it's a it's a Ace, area Ace. spell at place. Okay. Uh, target. Let me just uh. There you go. Try. Okay. Try now. Let's see if that does anything. Miss target token before rolling attack. Okay, that, that did is. Did you? That is odd. Awesome. Did you alter spirit guardians by accident? No, oh, uh, that's uh, guardian of faith. Let me. What? Why? Why target token? That's. Because it's rolling it as an attack. That is weird. Why is it saying okay. dexterity save? Fair. Oh my god, these spells are fucking delicious. Uh... Guardian of Faith. There we go. Because okay. any creature, any hostile creature that moves into it must. There roll. we go. There we go. Uh, try, try now. That's a finicky one. Mm -hmm. Where do I get to place it? Also. Are you, also, are you um, getting a prompt to place it? Yes, I did. Okay. 
where are you going to place it? Uh, here's about right. All right, oh, please, please describe this this uh, this big lad for us. So w while you've been um, talking, Arngrim has had his flask out and he just took a sip, poured some on the ground, poured some more, and he starts tracing a circle around this this log and he's pouring it and he's you know how when you impact dirt with water it leaves a little groove well he's been drawing runes in the ground with the alcohol and everything and he finishes it off uh, right right in front of the log there he puts down a name Liska you know Dwarven right yep you if you glance over it and care to read it uh, you might notice the name says you know Beirak Beirak um, and you know he spends about ten minutes going that, and just in Dwarven says, "All right, you're up. Show us what you got, lads." And there's a little bit of magic that comes from the runes, the alcohol runes, as a much older-looking warrior uh, type fellow appears, just sort of sitting still on the log he's about least good size so he's unnaturally large for a dwarf he is in grill and rather unresponsive to anybody else or anybody including myself but he's just kind of there drinking uh looking into the fire all right i don't know if that's meant to be uh, <laughs> the doors call it spirits. <laughs> right, Olas, he says in dwarf. You watch so as this um, is uh, uh, <laughs> you, you watch as a uh, uh, Bayrock, as uh, as Arngrim calls him, just takes out looks like a spectral flagon of ale and just downs it as he stares into the fire. Okay, so what what do I need? Right, okay, so it's beside the. Excuse this here is Bayrock. Oh, okay. Uh, he's, uh, let's, let me get it as he pulls out a, a little, a tiny little journal. And he goes through. Let me just make sure I get this right. Me. Great, great, great grandfather. Uh, it's a bit of magic. It's just calling the spirit to, you know, keep an eye out, protect you. If around uh, 10 feet, the reach he's got with his axe there, uh, any baddies happen to stumble in through the barrier, um, they'll have a real hard time. They'll take a fucking arse load of just brilliant spirit energy. Radiant kindly. The fucking mash them. Okay. So it's just a little contingency to protect those folks in the tent. Right, right. Hmm. Oh. Uh, Janet, yeah, what did the, uh, the identify spell tell me also about the sword that Luska gave me? Ah, uh, uh, I, I did put it in chat, I think. Um, the sword appears to me rather mundane. It's, uh, it's a great sword. Um, any magic uh, on the on the on the great sword was likely because of the presence of the skeleton lord or whatever was animating it that was making it more deadly. Hmm. He looks to Liska. Unfortunately, this is just a mundane sword. Whatever magic might have had probably was due to the wielder. I'm guessing. I I didn't really see. Um, it is fine. Like I assume that it probably like it was a small chance, but also like a magic item like here or taken off of an undead creature, probably cursed anyway. So it was you know fifty fifty. Yeah, I mean, heard tales of, of cursed items, nasty business. 
Uh, okay, you around the imps. But, but anyway, hmm. She claps her hands. Right, turns to Angram. Pencils spill books down. Put the spill books back into her, her bag. I need to do the scrying thing. Correct. I hey. need to. I lost connection okay. to the server, attempting to reestablish. I'm refreshing. Okay. Me? I'm good. Speaking of cursed, look what fucking Braun Ferrickson our lad made. As he again holds up the ring. Same That's... lad. This is the one that was on Yuli's guy. What the- Won't be doing anything to it that can get that little bugger that's in it out, but if you hold on to it and you get a look over, it might help you with your divinations. It's very timid in like, uh, getting it at first. You said a bugger that's in the thing. What the fuck? The, the very eloquent term is called as a slobby. Excuse me? <laughs> Double taking. Huh? Make an arcana check. It's pronounced slabby. You have to get the flim. Ah, back of the throat last. Yeah, make me an arcana check oh, Jar, to see if you can if, if you know what a slabby is. Okay. Seventeen. Um you've heard you've heard about them in some fairy tales. That's he's, that's he's learning. He's starting to learn to take a lot of things that's dismissed as have some grain of truth, so alright. Hmm. Okay, so Alright. Anyway, she's gonna go right about here. Take the uh take the necklace with the ring on it. Come over here and draw a circle mm -hmm. in the in the dirt with her tail and hold it in her hands and begin before beginning to uh uh scrying if let's just kind of look around and be like what what's this happening right now oh but oh, I, you're away I, I was trying to fucking find you um so you remember back in uh, the capital how he kind of, I don't know if you're there for it, I kind of promised the king uh, I'd help with the cursed armor and set and restore honor for the people and yada yada. Well, um, I need to find a, a lad named Bron Ferrickson. Goes by the name Bron the Blackened. He's the poor son of a sod who, uh, don't worry, I fucking, I know his, I'm guessing at this point, great. Great nephew? Sure, yeah, just uh, continue the story. <laughs> okay, point of story. Um, somewhere unknown, sunken temple, lies this lad who retreated here after the war. I have a spell that, if I'm familiar with a location, uh, it will help me find the path to it. Uh, but I'm not familiar to the location. But she can divine. And we know his full name, we know uh, we have a, a piece of him that's got his literal fucking blood in it and his curses and everything. Uh, pretty strong thing tied to his identity. So if you do this, we might be able to scry the exact location of where he's at. And then she'll use her little memory thing, let me see her memory. Then I become familiar with it and I can use my spell. Okay. Is there a spell? Long story Are you short, going to cast it tonight? No. I was thinking tomorrow. I need okay. to go there really badly, and I was hoping I could, you know, depend on you. Will you help yeah. me out? Yeah, sure, fine. Why not? Okay. I mean, we're kind of in this together. Yeah, so, it. He's. Okay, so who is the. Like, he's the guy that did, like, the weird curse on the ring and the axe. Ah, uh, yeah. And the armor. Oh, okay. So, he, um, so obviously he I missed it once whenever I was the out. Really bad king. Oh, Aspite. Sorry, Ashbite. Yes. <laughs> Ash. That, 
You know, Aspite was actually a pretty fun nickname for him that the folks like to call him. What mean a cannibal, rump roast and all that. Oh, yeah, uh, that makes you sense. You only got to call him it once, though. To his face, at least. Yeah. I, the the yard is wants to question everything at the moment, but she's focusing on doing the <laughs> <to> cry it. <laughs> okay. So, what, like... Do you think that he is still alive, or or what? Oh no, he's been dead for a while. Um, like dead, dead, or like undead. Here, I don't know anymore. He he left the mortal coil a while back. I don't know if he's been reanimated, but there's some weird things going on. What with the awakened folk around here and everything. Plus, with what happened under the city, I know it's a little different, but still, it's close enough to bit me spooked. And I need his knowledge. Uh, so he's... Because he's the one that knows how to uncurse things, because he made the curse. Okay. He... So he died in here, or died outside, and then was brought here? No, no. Um, they lost the civil war. He fled here and died. <laughs> how how do we know that he died? Sorry, I'm just trying to wrap my head around this. Um, dwarven old age. Also, I might have talked to some spirits, and they say he's dead. Okay. I don't know if he became undead. It's probably likely, just given the nature of this place. So let's. Maybe he's assume. a corpse. Maybe he's just a haunting spirit who's bound to his disgraced tomb, I have no clue. Let's I just, just know he's not in the halls of ancestors because he he's stricken and fucked. Let's just say that, and so does the air quotes, let's just say he is dead. Yes. Okay. Um, okay. anything else that I missed while I was away? All right, um, uh, Bronze the Blackened might have the key to our little friend that Vadima is uh, carrying. You know, the crystal tablet. I still tablet. don't know what you mean by key. Yeah, what? The Those don't... And she can get kind of a look of confusion as she looks between the group and then realizes that Severe is there and she's like, oh, okay, I guess it makes sense that we're talking not plainly. Um... It's like, that usually doesn't require keys. No, it's... He it stops for a moment. It's the key to Orichalcos. Vellum can tell you the rest of it. Why do the scrying? So <laughs> this just, guy kind of turns on the log to look at Vellum. What the fuck is Orichalcos? Thou gestures to the <laughs> dragonborn jerky. jerky and then just... <laughs> That apparently is a dragonborn, as the shard describes them, and Orikalos is a lost city, yeah, where they it's... presumably are. And so uh, the reason okay. I know this is because Vellum here has found about some fairy tale metal that might hold unique properties, and it apparently comes from Orikalos. So. Yeah, long lost city, interest in metal in it, full of dragon. That's basis. So we think right. the city is lost in the motorbog? Is no, there's a clue to find it in here or something. Yes, basically. So, uh, okay, so how does the key factor into that? No, no, that the nobody key. knows where it is. No, but how does it factor into the little friend that Vadima carries? So I'll just raises both his shoulders in a slight shrug. I, I'll i be honest, let's get, I'm just along for the ride on that point. I'm sure it'll make sense in time, but for right now, fuck it. This We're all, here. It's okay, all very I'll confusing. Hold on, so, give me, give me a second. You're just doing I'll... your spell shit, it's fine. So, <laughs> she looks back to the group. It's like, okay, so, we're trying to oh. find bronze Messages. bottom. We're trying to find Bronze Bottom, and she points to Argrim. Uh, does that, that is was that his name? What was his name? The Black Bottom. That's close enough. Okay. Yeah. 
So yes. trying to find That's him, sure. who we know is in the Morbog. And then we're trying to find... No, he is the key. And she points to the... She points to the jerky. He is the key to finding a lost city that we don't... That we know is not in the Morbog. And... What... There's We're some kind of blood in here that will tell us where the... Okay, so there's a tablet in the Morbog that tells us how to get to the city outside the Morbog. Do we think that Bronze Bottom has the tablet? Or did? I it seems like for some reason y'all like connected the two and I'm trying to figure out why. I, I don't know anything about the keys checked. I'm going to be real with you. All I know is he's got some stuff that's good for removing curses and making powerful things. And I just... Okay. I need to do that. That's fine. Talk to her about... You, know, you If you can't say it... Oh. Oh. Sorry. Severe. Oh, no. Where, where'd he there go? There he goes. You cut out a whole lot during... Bah. I got it. Oh, uh, severe. Fucking, here is a biscuit. Stand outside the thing and count to 100 and come back, please. Apparently, it's a private matter. Here is a gold coin. <laughs> <laughs> well, I cannot, I cannot argue with that. You just made a gold in 100 <laughs> seconds. Congratulations. <laughs> All right, the jar <laughs> spilled the fucking beans fast. Good biscuit. Few okay, words. He says as he right. <laughs> makes his way out. <laughs> okay. Hey, that's a pretty good. Bi <laughs> <laughs> the tab, the crystal tablet, is a key to Orichalcos. That key, the tab, the crystal tablet, is the way to unlock to the city, or the egg to locate it. Basically. Why would the egg need to locate the city? Doesn't it just need it to is, hatch? It needs to hatch inside the city. Because that's that where the hatchery is. Is that the Wait. only place it'll hatch? Yes. Or do you not know that? Oh, so it just no. won't hatch until it's there. Exactly. How so we have to get it there before it hatch. My hmm. adoptive father, Boris, told me to tell the ones who have the egg about this. Okay. So... Then why are we going to Tech Tahoe? Oh, because we yeah, had the, the fighting championship. Okay. Oh, we're going to Tech Tahoe to take the shit out of some people. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So... We need to find the tablets to find... The lost city. The lost city, which the magic of the tablet has a fucking map. Yes, and the egg will take the magic from the tablet, the point where the city is. Like my Okay. All right. Sorry, that was so jumbled. I need to get better with the trade tongue to be simple. Yeah, this is why I don't like things. Tablet's a map. It'll show the egg where to go. The egg can only hatch in that one place. We're going to the temple. Because I need to fucking talk to a, a dead guy to learn how to remove course, cur uh, curses and fix the, some armor and honor and all that dwarf shit. Hopefully, the yeah, you need to go to a temple. Be, uh, and that's yeah, the, one. it's a st yeah. sunken temple. The, the place oh, where it's so fucking not, hiding. Not the temple that we were at like a couple days ago that had the dwarven no. skeleton body? No. No, 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 no. Okay. I, that that, just, seems, that just seems like a weird That's coincidence, a, I'm just saying. That was well, that one was really thinking. This is more of a... I think they call it... Ziggur... Zora... Ziggur... 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 So how do you know it's something? God damn it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he opens his flask, takes a sip. <laughs> My adopted father... Think of it father. like it's either a Zig or... Or a rat. Ziggurat. Ziggurat. Yes. Yeah. There we go. Ziggurat. Yes. Is it rat? A zig or a rat? Ah. Ziggurat is a... Uh, 
Don't start that car! There they go. They're all Straight sorted, the let's South not Trump. talk about it anymore. <laughs> yes, thank you. Yeah, anyway. Otherwise we will just confuse ourselves even more. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this party it's... dynamic. It is, a, <laughs> it is a mess. You got the brain boxes who don't convey things I... very well, and the, the fighters I... who just don't care about the details. <laughs> 92, 93. So, how did your adoptive father know all this shit? Six. Spit it out! <laughs> he is a. He's a dragonborn. Oh. Neat. So, wait, is. They, they know. That right they just, there, point, po pointing to the jerky, that is a. 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 a chromatic. Dragonborn, not a prismatic. My adoptive father is a prismatic dragonborn. That piece of shit right there is nothing but dirt. It rot. But I just I need his body just so I can show it to Boris. Okay. Man, I then never heard of Dragonborn shouldn't. until like a couple weeks ago and suddenly we're just up to our eyeballs. Yeah, and you also probably shouldn't have it just lying on like moist ground. Oh, it's it, it, we we uh we tied it up to fucking uh the side of the, the alcohol. Oh yeah, hang uh, on. Uh, so don't oh, is it yeah. not is it not just sitting there in the middle of the of the fucking campfire? <laughs> no, no, I don't have a I don't have a vehicle for that barrel yet, so I'm just gonna stick it there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's yeah, just so it's, it's it's just kind of strung up on the side. Yeah, it, it's he's visible. airing out. Well, I mean, you still probably like this place is pretty fucking humid. Like, uh, even if you leave, like, it jerky only stays the way it is because it has that like skin that like you know that gets he all taps its but... waterproof scales. I thought this might do the trick. Cover the spot well, where I cut open its neck with lard. How does it have skins? It has scales. Yes. Skin. Interesting. I know. <laughs> Anyway, yeah. Can I see your lard real quick? Now, Gander, what? how am I? See your lard. It's been real more quick? than a hundred seconds. I'm gonna. No, yeah, he my can, head out, make he sure can totally not come dead. back. Yeah, he went the other way. Let's just like he oh. went the other way. <laughs> <laughs> and at that point, yeah. our guide was dead. <laughs> Was the biscuit and the gold worth it? <laughs> oh, are you done? It just, just, just comes out. Oh, yeah, perfect. There we go. Did you discover the chewy meaty center? Oh, oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, chewy meaty center of a cookie. Gross. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's a cookie. It's, it's a, a biscuit. It's a biscuit. This is oh, American okay. Biscuit. We're talking American biscuit. I see. Yeah. Yes. Basically, like a safe scone. <laughs> no, it's definitely not a scone. It's a biscuit. Yeah. All He's right. a baker. He could <laughs> make a meat, uh, a meat, a meat fucking cookie. A lachi. <laughs> but why would he? Why would he not? Am I right? Um. You know. What? What's next? Is he gonna make like a pizza dough? Put Plenty chocolate bacon on bits or... on top. Sweet and savory. Gross. So Honey bacon bits instead of chocolate chips. <laughs> okay, okay, so we're gonna do the scrying anyway. spell. <laughs> so. Alright, so he holds out the ring. Mm -hmm. Why is Dejar doing the wisdom save? I, I don't know. I think that's the way the spell is set up. Yeah, uh, I'll, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll fix that. So, let's see, Dejar rolled. A twelve. Um Okay, I'm back. Fucking Discord. So Dejar rolled a twelve. Uh scrying. Oh, that's um, what I'm saying. Dejar shouldn't roll anything for a yeah, scrying yeah. spell. So the target must make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Yeah, that I, I was trying to do the info thing, but accidentally hit the roll. Not my quest. The target can make a saving throw. Yeah, so 
you're not first hand or familiar with it. You have second hand. Mm -hmm. And um, but you do have a position, which is a minus four to their save, so they get some save if they're even alive, or if they're capable of. This is true. Yep. I like that specification. If they're capable of. And what if they're not capable? White. It's just 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 go through happens. You know, just happens. Hmm. So what happens you... if you're not capable of making an acrobatic save? Yeah. Because yeah. you're tied up. <laughs> yeah. You do the boulder falls on you and you die. Mm -hmm. All right. So as you begin to scroll your 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 incantation in your hand, your eyes go white, Deja. And you fall into a trance. Spell succeeded. You find yourself in a dark hall, a dark chamber. Pure darkness. You are know, not quite able to see. And then, out from that darkness, as vision comes to you as your eyes adjust. You see ancient dusty remains clearly a dwarven skeleton you see the remains of what was what may have once been a long white beard and some degree of flesh still hangs on but dear life it's sat up against a wall atop a throne some sort of stone ancient stone throne and you can see some element of rigor mortis hands out in front of it clutching to its chest something that is now absent And the hands are just, the fingers are just kind of curled in into into this uh, this frozen position of holding onto something that is now not there. Mm. That's about as much as you gather. And as you as you kind of look around, trying to trying to strain the the. The limits of this spell. Go ahead and make a perception check for me. Real quick. Oof. You don't see much else. The spell fades. As you <gasps> come back into your body. Uh, a fist on the ground I got something but it turned out to be nothing I see saw his bones some flesh clinging on to dear life and he looked like in a death pose like he was frozen Sitting on a, thro a, sto a stone throne, and was was clunchy something that's now absent. I, I'm gonna, I'm I'm gonna have to do it again to look. That's all I got. Um, sure. Uh, make an arcana check. Um, Angra, make a religion check. Okay. Where is my attribute? Religion. Hmm. <laughs> Both fifteens. Uh, you're kind of putting your heads together for this brief moment. 
this kind of sudden sudden look dawns upon the both of you. Normally when things die in the Morbok here, they tend to they tend not to stay dead for long. From what you saw, and from, from what you've just heard, Angram, this guy's been dead for centuries and has not moved. Sense so, also so, the timeline. So something something has caused this body to stay dead. Have a suspicion oh, as to probably been sanctified. He mm. wasn't an important person. Sal sort of briefly sort of looks up and then looks to Arngrim and then Dejar. But you said he was a curse maker. Hot too. So he holds up a finger and then points to Jerky on the side. <laughs> What necromancers? They could easily make sure something raise something, or make sure something stays dead. Right. Okay. Oh. Yeah. And I have a feeling the followers of Mortifax uh took something that well. Ron's the blackened head upon his death. It sounds as if it's been years ago, so. Well. That is really probably. Well. No, I was thinking I could ask him, but the only new things they knew in life. I could try and ask him who would try to take it, or if he knows anything I mean, specific. Or... They. Dragons do live a long time, and considering this dude has scales, possibility. Well, no, not him. I, I, I meant the dwarf himself, the dude who's holding the tablet. And it's the Hmm. Oh, shit. I had a thought. It's a bad thought. Oh, bad. Like, You're telling me I'm a story you saw the mines under the cattle. And you saw the great fucking wall of shattered glass and the main fucker behind it do you think him with his rumors do you think he could have had it someone in his posse possibly he's gonna turn from Dejar and then he's gonna look over and up to Liska. Mm hmm. What? Do you have any insights? You're a bit of the tactically minded. Sorry, I was kind of distracted a little bit. What can you. What insights? What are you looking for? Um. Good news found the corpse. Bad news. Corpse doesn't have the tablet thing we need. Okay. Are you uh, able to see where the corpse was? Or well tomorrow you'll be able to find that out with your spell, yes? Yeah, Hold I, on. She'll show I'm, me and then I can do it tomorrow and it'll pick me for Yeah. Okay. So you have that. Uh I mean I don't know where the place is, where we'd be going, so I can't really, I can't tactically plan about a place that I don't know anything about. Well, I'm sorry, I didn't specify. Uh, um, it's missing. I recalled the stories that you were telling me of 
your great fate and how you got that massive trophy. You know, underneath the capital with that thing. Mm -hmm. And the big mirror, the broken glass, the giant bloody black wearing arsehole behind it. Mm -hmm. And the rumors, and the visions I saw when I touched that thing. He yes. seems like he'd have a vested interest in it. Do you think he or his group might have come and taken it? I don't see why it wouldn't be a possibility. This is kind of his... And she motions around to the swamp. This is kind of his... Uh, his aesthetic, I guess is the word to use. Um, like the Realm whole... Realm expertise? Yeah, like the whole turning drag into two undead monstrosities and stuff like that. I imagine that uh, he probably would be able to come in and grab it if he needed, but that's not something we would necessarily know until we get there. But dealing with... Oh. No, oh. She, she's talking to herself, so you can you can okay. uh, talk over me. Sivir so kind of speaks up for a moment. They might have some insight on those uh, sunken temples. We started them back at the, the gatekeepers. As far as uh, we know, those temples have been there since uh, times of the great war the Undying. Uh, since before those times, even. Before our strike teams started going missing over there, our archivists long ago uh, discovered um, them to be mausoleums, uh, crypts for the disciple of self, some great necromancer. Don't surprise me if those pl uh, 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 accursed temples are crawling with the dead. Are uh, the bloody? Perhaps. Some of our uh, first records dating back over 350 years ago uh, report our scouting teams um, pursuing a number of dwarves into those temples. I assume this is the. Uh, Brown the Blackened you speak of. Oh? So? Apparently, they were fleeing mainland. Neither party of dwarves nor scouts was ever seen again, and it was assumed that they, all of them had been lost. They just say they crafted cursed works and art artifacts of dark power there. But that is all I know of the sunken temples. Hmm. So, question. What? Did, uh... Did the people start disappearing around the same time that the... first reports of mortar attacks started happening? Da. Now that you mentioned it. Wonderful. So, and she looks to the rest of the group, it seems like if we're going to pursue this crystal tablet or whatever, we'll probably be going towards the dragon, maybe even into his lair. Just give you a heads up. No, well, that is not good. Sao is just already hanging her head low, but she just looks up and just goes... Well, we can find the temple, see if it's there, and if not, I guess it's dragon time again. Again? Uh, hold on. We've already yeah, killed a few. I'm I've slayed a green dragon, not but with a wee pebble, and a little bit of help from me friends as he smirks to the rest of the party. So we kind yeah, of we have a bad I habit of running into dragon. So it kind of raises a finger for a moment as if he's about to say something, kind of, then kind of gives you all a once over. Yeah, I would no, believe it. 
the yard does believe it, but has several questions. One, where did you fight these these dragons? <laughs> uh, there was Crothis over by Dunalo, and then some green fucker in the woods by. Uh, what was that uh, dwarven was strong? On tip of my brain. No, it wasn't the dwarven stronghold. It was the the city of two rivers. The... Oh yeah, it was between that and the uh, stronghold. Oh, it was the forest was above. Remember, we we killed the green dragon, and then we came down that uh, canyon that had. Because remember the goblin. Well, I mean, between is in. We did it on the way. Yes, it was yeah. between Dune Hollow and where we are now. You are correct. Yes. So we have slain a. Was it Crofus? Was it white or blue? He was white. He was white. Yes, and definitely. And then there was the green one. Did and the green have a name? Not that we know of. None of us speaks, uh, well, lizard tongue. Aye. It did have a name at the time. Dinner. Hmm. I mean, a little, you know, formal name. All, all we know is that it was a spawn of. Uh, what the fuck was her name? I don't know. Vedervang. Vedervang. Oh. It was uh, the sign of Vedervang. Alright. That's right. I what heard it. Did. But I, I don't fucking thing. know. Like, it's draconic. I don't fucking know. Hold up. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Vedervang, the the verdant blight. She, Ver yeah. She was, there I was an issue with that. her over in Tech Tahos for a while. And then she yeah. disappeared for some time. On that, he got turned to stone for trying to take over Tekahos. Did she? I heard that she was. Oh no 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 no! He got active. turned to. St no, he got turned to stone. Okay. Hmm. Well, either way, dragon or not, we should probably get rest, but we think of doing anything. Very well, I will turn in for, for the night. Uh, had a character, which, what was the order again? Uh, we kind of fucked that up when we moved everyone about in the, on the logs. No, uh, no, I mean, <laughs> if anyone remembers what it was supposed to be from last time. Let's go was with Sal. Uh, you had... Yeah, let's go with Sal. You had Arngrim, and I think it was Grunda. Yeah, it was Velum and Jajar, but I mean, like, the order of it. Like, who went first, who went second, who went... Uh, I think Sevier went first. Didn't? Uh, I'm, yeah. I'm not sure. But regardless, we, we, we could... We could improvise the, the order, if you like. Yeah. Uh, so... Uh, let's get in south first. Mm -hmm. Called it. Alright. Then Sevier... Then Dejar, Vellum, and then Grunker and Arkham. There we go, that works. Right. Sorry, you don't get to do your 30 minutes this morning. I remember it <laughs> was Vellum and Dejar first because they did their prayers together. Okay. Sleep, so, then so, so somebody else took up. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll go like counterclockwise from Vellum all the way to Arkham. Okay. Sorry, all the way to Severe. Do severe last. All right. So, uh, good. as you will finish up your meals, head to bed for the evening. Uh, first off, Vellum and Dejar, both of you or one of you with advantage, make uh, perception checks. Uh, what the fuck it... are we looking for? The <laughs> barrier makes it so we can't see in and out. Oh yes, yes. <laughs> stuff yes. might come. We're through looking the barrier. for eyes. S yep. Stuff may um, stuff may come through the barrier. You never know. You never yes. know. I um, noticed that happened earlier today, even. Yeah. <laughs> um, but as a quick side note, uh, as like everyone's getting geared up to go to bed, Venom is going to approach Sal. I know there's a fancy tent and all that business, but I ain't had any sort of issues with the, uh, this, uh, this, this, this bog for uh, in the whole time I've been in there. Maybe some solid walls that help you sleep. If you want to head in there, that's fine. All I know is I ain't seen anything weird or 
filling in too much of the essence. He's gonna give her a pet, leave it to her business, and sit on log. Okay. And uh, I forget. I think it, I think it was Velen who had the higher wisdom. Yeah, because my mind is. I have just one plus one perception. Oh well, yeah, definitely. I'm gonna do it with advantage. <laughs> yeah, she, she's she's not very wisdomous. Oh, there we go. Twenty six with a natural twenty. Oh shit! Very nice. So as you kind of sit on the log, ob observing your surroundings, you get a bit of a a nervous, bouncy leg here and there, just just watching. Occasionally, you might hear the occasional. Burbling up of of, an, of some of the nearby swamp water, which catches you off guard, puts you on edge. You swear, kind of, you hear out of the corner of, of your ear. It sounds like a like a, a soft, the softest wail. You chalk it up to the ambience of the of the of the bog. And other than that, your watch goes unabated. Hooray! Right. Next up is Sayun and Liska. Alright, that's all you, Sayun. Hmm? <laughs> what you doing, Ducky? Gonna roll, roll me that perception with advantage. Ducky? Okay. Yeah, I already have advantage on perception checks, oh, uh, yes. so. Double advantage. How do I roll for advantage? It is alt. Yep, alt. Just yep. A for advantage. Yeah. Okay. Twenty-five. Yeah. Your watch does go unabated, thankfully. Liska looks. Uh, looks. Liska looks occasionally a bit distracted here and there. Um. But the, but the the hours go by as normal. Nothing changes. Next up, Argrim and Gronka. Grim is is having a conversation, talking to fucking Beric. So I'm gonna roll with this advantage. <laughs> <laughs> Because I'm sorry, it's what would have happened. Fair enough. It's okay. I still got a fifteen. Fifteen. <laughs> you're you 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 you're, you're kind of lost in conversation, kind of with 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 Bayrock, kind of catching up on old times, on, on like a, what he, he he's asking, how how has your life been? What did, what has my what has my great great grandson been doing all this time? And, and then, right after he took a giant swing with his axe, Gronka went flying up, and I, I took the stone and put it right between his eyes. It was. And he just lets out this chortling guffaw, which uh, almost al almost wakes you all. But uh, your watch does continue unabated. <laughs> oh, lovely. Side note, Janner, mm -hmm. uh, you may want to turn down the uh, voice changer just slightly with the effect. Yeah, yeah it's yes, a little yes, too yes. strong to be okay. coherent. Okay. Right. Next up, Brother Severe. Perception. Hopefully, is he trained in that expertise? So he got plus nine. Oh, that should be public. There we go. Eleven. So as you all go to bed for the night. The next day comes. I 
hope it's not white. God damn it. <laughs> so, as the gradual... I can't decide if that's come or if that's a Mariah Carey thing. <laughs> Wait, you just... Oh my god, it's worse. So, go ahead and take your, take your long rests. The sleepy pay. Why the fuck is Dashar now badly injured? Oh fuck! You had a bad dream. Barely injured. Oh, I gave you. <laughs> had a bad dream to call out all psychic damage. I am. I am concerned. <laughs> what the fuck, fuck? Uh, oh, I, I, I think I think I may have misclicked. Let me just. His new day. No. Just, oh, this is. There we go. Okay. All right. So, back on the road again. On the road again. On the road again. Mm. How is Sal looking, Ducky? Still tired. Yara is looking, also, look, is moving sluggishly. Less oh energetic. No. Everything is locked in place because weird map glitches. Yeah, it's fine. Um, um obviously, since he and Jaja do their morning prayer and whatnot, once they finish up, he's gonna look at her and it's like, Ah, oh, come on, not you too. Look, I. I. A tribute to me using more uh, spells than I need to in battle. By the way, oh, I'm so, fine. Hang on. Um, so Dejar, uh, this would be Dejar, Sayun, and, and Grunka need to roll this. Oh, well, I would close oh boy! This. Uh, do I? Do I? Nope. X. Uh, yes, yes, you do. So let's see. Let's just do a little. Uh, little... Oh, there we go. He uh, how oh you... my! How'd you do the double thing? Advantage? Is it controller or shift? Alt. Alt. A for advantage. Someone said that earlier, and that's really Come on, people! Yeah. I've said it multiple times. <laughs> A for advantage. Oh, smart. C for um, crap. I failed. A for advantage. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Do I need to do this roll? Uh, yes, actually. Okay. I hate my life. <laughs> How do you think I feel? Oh what? no! Fuck it! I'm gonna roll it again. Come wait, back. wait, hold up! Wait, wait, wait! Did during each, uh, do we all do the? No, since it's not especially old. Hmm. The nope. fate. We we it. never use the fate thing. So yeah, never mind. I always assumed that I'd done it because I said that I would. Yep. Long ago, I established that I would do it every morning. Too useful yep. not. All right. No, I forgot. <laughs> well, lesson for next time. Yeah. Just live till tomorrow, and then you'll have access. I don't really know why it was a a GM roll, but I rolled two sixes. Yeah. Mm. That's. Oof. So, All right. five. So, back on the road. Still a little bit wary, a little bit distracted. A bit, uh... Looks like, uh, spoon hands again. <laughs> I, I assume Jari is... <laughs> oh, not that spoon hand. I got um, these spoon hands. So I assume Jari is on the wagon as you have sort of placed her, yes? He, yeah, he he's gonna be sitting up there on the wagon. He, her, he has bags underneath her eyes. Just is out of it. Why? I already know why. I guess just fuck. Wish I knew what else to do besides sleep. Fix that. It's just that one. Now you. Again, I. I What's treat... going on? I... Oh, you're over there. Sorry. Never mind. 
It is fine. Okay. You, wouldn't, you can't hear us over the engine, hush. <laughs> What's going on? I can't I hear you. <laughs> I used too many spells during that fight on at the port, so I attributed to that, but I'm just... I don't know. Uh, I get the feeling this ain't normal. I mean, yeah, using a lot of magic's probably tiring, but you look like you haven't slept like at all. <laughs> uh, uh, I just want sleep. That's all I want. Fucking bog. Burn it. Right. Um. Okay. He's gonna sort of reach into his... Keep saying, like, coat, but it's not a coat, it's a fucking... Covering... Jacket... Thing... I'm just gonna call it a jacket. jacket. Fuck it. Yeah. Now... Be very careful with this. Take the sunblade hill down. Go have some rest in the wagon. And... Get yourself a bit of sun. I know for us, it'll do the world a good. I figure you could use a board. Uh, I'll, I'll give it a try. I am better than sitting out here and looking at this. And then he's just going to gesture to the fucking horizon of filth. <laughs> mm -hmm. You have a point. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to go inside. A nice soft bed and a good bit of sun. You call it the Moorbog, I call yeah. it an, an English summer. <laughs> I mean, at this point, <laughs> it's an English winter. Uh... Yeah, you can place me inside. Um, <laughs> yep, yep, let me... Let me <laughs> I can't. Let me, let me just stick, stick you inside. Uh... There's some... Oh, hang on. Let me just... Oh, okay, if, uh, for some reason... Uh, There's a wall there, Jane. Yeah, yeah, I... We'll just save you inside for now, because I can't put you inside, the token's not showing up on my screen, so... Yeah, it's been a bit weird with this map for some reason. Yeah, yeah, so... Yeah, um... Imagination. Okay, as soon as he gets inside, he's going to first check on her bar that she got from the hag. As, uh... feels concerned. As you... Kind of rub your forehead. You feel the um, the kind of three bumps that make up your skull. One of them has receded. Oh, wait, I, no. I don't no, like it, any it, of that. Sorry, it, it, it's, it's been a long, it's been, it's been a long rest. My bad. No, they're still there. All three are still there. Stop. I'm gonna use. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna use. Uh, take out my. Uh, 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 water skin and you shape water to make a mirror. Oh. And to look. Okay. You kind of begin to shape the water into a, into a, a singular plane. Kind of try to ha hold it at the right angle to, so it catches some sort of light, and you do indeed see three scar-like uh, uh, sort of uh, three three scar-like pieces of flesh on, on your head. This is this is the scar that you received from the hag. It's still there. Uh, grimaces of face. Ah, but the artist couldn't have done that, but you know what? It is what it is. And just kind of look at, look at, look at it. It almost reminds you of like a series of spider eyes. I he thinks for a moment. Our mind just goes to spiders. Like yeah, like I need to think about about that while in the fucking world. Great. Thanks, mind. Ugh. Whatever. 
It's just... And she's gonna just takes the water, puts back in in the water flask, and tries to lay down. Okay. Yeah. Short or long rest for this? I'm I'm gonna short rest. Okay. Try. All right. So you will continue your travels here. Uh, today is much colder than yesterday. There's this distinct chill in the air, and it's very quiet as a thick mist sets in which seems to choke any and all any and all vision within a couple hundred feet and it only seems to be growing thicker by the hour oh it's been very misty oh i have a question did argrim ever cast the spell of finding oh i i would i would assume yeah so. that was going to be a whole morning thing wasn't it <laughs> Uh, yeah, I had, I had, uh, uh, Hungry. I think uh, you're, I think because of dots. It was hard, Mario. I was fucking having a big old sip, and I didn't want you to guys fucking hear the, of the, the big sippy. Drinking, yeah. you know. Yeah. So, I don't trust um, my microphone, because sometimes it falls. I, it does that. I assume you, you would have cast your, um, was, what was it, find the path? Yes. Uh, so okay. I would like to the vision that I would have seen from Dejar, or which you would have, I have it prepared. Mm -hmm. um, All right. Uh, let me. The, the only this. the only thing that, that I have a question about. Yes. Um. It may have once been there. Uh, it requires uh, an object from the location you wish to find. Um, I need a set of divinatory tools, which I just realized I need and I don't have. But, but question, mm. given that you know you've got the crystal ball to do scrying, if I could borrow that, the crystal because it doesn't consume them. Crystal ball. Oh, uh, do you, do you use a crystal ball to scry? Uh, do you have a crystal ball? Because you've done divination. We have a mirror. A little mirror, not a crystal ball. Hello? Hello. 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 Okay. I have a silver mirror, not a crystal ball. So, so could you not scry then, because you don't have the required no, it's, component? No, it says here it, uh, at least worth such as a crystal ball, a silver mirror, or a front filled with holy water. So it's I have yeah. one of the three. Okay, my okay. You have the required divination tool worth a lot of money. My question yes. is, I need some divination tools. Can I borrow yours? It does not consume them. Yeah, you can. You can borrow it. Fantastic. There you go. That's that hiccup. The only other thing is an item of the lo from the location you wish to find, which is a little weird because it's an item of a location you wish to find. Mm -hmm. If you have an item from there, there's a low chance of you needing to find there because you've either already been there or you've how got it from somebody who knows how. Anyway, I, I'm curious to see if maybe the ring will work because I didn't realize it had that requirement, so I'm willing to fucking throw away a 5th level spell and right. just try this Okay. because other than the slot, nothing's wasted. Alrighty. So, did you go so. ahead and cast that spell? Consume spell slot. There you go. Find the path. As you begin to weave your spell incantation in the air, it's divine magic. Your eyes begin to glow this 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 shade of, of sky blue. 
and you begin to see so this would be the quick so so this would be the quickest and most valid route to get there the shortest most direct physical route to a specific fixed location that you are familiar with on the same plane of existence right okay so as you kind of peek your head out of the tank for a moment to kind of look around you see this trailing essence of, of sky blue energy uh, divination magic that kind of clings to the general sort of ley line energy that that that, uh, that suffuses these lands and it seems to go out directly towards uh, to be the, the west and it seems to go out towards um, over the over boggy terrain it seems Breathing. Okay. You can you you can attempt to uh, you can attempt to guide your tank through the through the uh, the, the boggy terrain, um, with sim with some difficulty. Do you have a winch if I get stuck? Mm -hmm. Lisa can hold on to it and go stand on some solid ground. Mm -hmm. She's strong enough. Mm -hmm. And I'll I'll have her hold still while the winch pulls the thing out. Yeah. She's probably more stable than a fucking tree. We're probably slow you down quite significantly. Um, but it would be possible. How far away is it? Uh, sorry to throw that at you. For um, right now, you got an estimate? An estimate about 300 miles. Okay. About 300 miles west. Uh, this guy is going to... She's going to kind of see this happen and kind of look around it's like so I mean this is fine and all but didn't Saviator say that they used to send out expeditions to the place shouldn't like don't you know where these sunken temple is Saviour? so we can find a route that isn't but directly over the water I don't know it's a general location yes okay well then we can have this still going, which it points to the sky blue line, um, and also, uh, like, do you, you know, just to kind of have a compass, and you can guide us in that direction. Oh, do not get me wrong, I would not, I wouldn't mind the extra help. I know how far away it is, and I can just always point at it. I know the right paths and where to go to directly reach it, but that doesn't mean it's going to be the safest or the most uh, traversable. So I can point where it is, and you can show us the the most um, steady ground Less, that we can walk on. The safest. Route. That's what you're saying, right, this guy? Da. There you go. Okay. So, if I that's the case, hopefully we should slow down too much. Baby's got wide tracks as not to put too much pressure on the cliff side and cause it to crumble, so hopefully I won't sink in the mud too much. We have, um, can't you shape earth? As he looks over to Dejar and then realizes, is she still is she in the back of the thing still, or she had to lie down in Velen's cart? Um, this is another Probably. case of those fucking wobbly timelines. You did just crying right in the Probably. morning, right? It's in the morning. <laughs> so the the conversation that just happened with Velen Dejar was on the road, so that would be way off. Okay. You can find Dejar or something. Oops. Okay. Yeah, so... And if that's the case, just ask, can you mold Earth? Yes. Okay, is that a cantrip or a spell? That is a spell. Okay. If we have some time, if we have to... You're breaking up something fierce, And fix some terrain if we got to. Fucking yeah. hell. I can still hear you, so... 
If you I have to, you can use the spell to fix the soil. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. But we should be okay. We have a super professional guide and a six level spell to help us. Mm -hmm. Alright. So, as you all consider this, you get out onto the road for the moment. So, fast forward time. You are in a foggy area. It's very difficult to see. Sal will rather quickly uh, make a note to you know everybody here, but mostly both Severe and Arngrim, since they're leading the way, uh, that she spots something. Uh, uh, almost is. It would seem like a figure or a silhouette of a person, but she's unsure. Where did you see it? So I will point out the direction and place. You, you, she, she kind of points out what looks like this uh, small aisle of, of land in, in this in this large um, boggy lake. Should we stop or continue? I'm a bit unsure, but what do you guys say? Oh, it's just being in the back, so. Yeah, the Lusk is just kind of like squinting it. So you saw like a figure, like a humanoid figure, or, or what? Best I can tell. It was a thin silhouette of a figure. Was? I can't really tell more than that. It disappeared when I turned to look at it. So it's gone. Most likely, but... This Morbok is messing with me. Uh, keep an eye out. We shouldn't think of. I am fine with not lingering. I mean, like, did it look like it was coming towards us? Did it look like it noticed us? I can't tell for sure. Okay, then in that regard, I think we should just keep going. Like, if we can't tell what it is, we don't know what it is, it's in the middle of the fucking water, like, I don't want to deal with that. No, oh, that's a will o wisp type deal. Lure you into the bogs, drown you, kill you out of your, your curiosity. That is why uh, we should not linger. Let's go. Hey, how about you hop up on one of the guns? You know, pointing that way, yeah. just in case. Not me? Mm. Yes, you. Well, since you offered, he kind of uh, gleefully <laughs> steps up onto one of the guns. And he, he, he seems to be enjoying himself a bit, a little bit too much. Mm. Alright, as he continues to point out the way, uh, the fog crawls in closer and eventually it becomes difficult to see even the twisted forms of nearby trees until they pass within like 50 feet of your convoy. The mist even kind of clings to the ground and making your uh, footfalls, Liska, difficult to see. Uh, severe kind of uh, taps against the tank and so, uh, notifies you to try and slow the pace a bit. As uh, he kind of uh, peers out from over the edge, trying to search the way through the fog. Uh, in and in turn, the convoy slows down a little bit. Thankfully, a relatively straight path to the um, to the southeast here can be maintained. 
if for a few twists and turns to avoid some boggy patches. And then you notice something emerge through the fog ahead, and it catches many of you off guard, with a sudden surge of adrenaline as it emerges quickly and suddenly due to the, due to the close proximity of the fog. You see a tall, gnarled tree branch looms overhead. An emaciated body hangs from it. It's female, dressed in nothing but ragged white robes. Her long, slightly damp, tangled hair hangs in front of her face. There is no breeze which sways the body or creaks the branches. There's no, there's no movement. There she hangs by a noose, practically frozen in time. Is she moving? Just She's slight swaying, you say? There is no swing, there is no breeze, there is no movement. Alright, is she blocking our path? No, she just appears to be hanging overhead. And she's not directly in her path. She's off to the side, like she's just. You know what I'm saying she's just hanging overhead, not blocking your path. Our 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 groom definitely stops the tank. I've got a bad vibe about it, and he stops before they get under the branch. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, that's what makes sense. Rarely do you have like a hanging tree just pop up out of the bog to hang over the the, the, the trail. It, yeah, it, 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 it's not like it's like, like like it's popped up out of the bog. Um, it's just kind of you, it, it, the fog it, it, made it. PS One render distance, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, gadget. PS One. It's like y'all. No, like y'all ever play Dynasty Warriors? Dynasty Warriors, when they can only render like six people on the screen at once, so yeah. you're swinging and hitting people you can't see. Um, uh, Ar Arngrim's gonna say, it, Vellum, as he's just kind of gonna go to the back and peek out the door. Uh, yeah, yeah. What do you do, Arngrim? Hook up your cart to the back of the beer tank. I'm gonna drag you for a minute. You can stay inside the back of your cart until I stop and tell you to get out. Nobody's out. Uh, no one's exposed. Makes sense. What about the ram, though? I don't think the ram is gonna be in danger if my fucking horror story brain is thinking the right kind of thought. You know, he kind of makes the noose hand motion and put, tries to put around his head and then kind of like looks at him in the horns and I think he's fine all right now, now uh, Vellum uh, you don't see this this hanging woman uh, your the fog is is too dense for you in this distance um, I'm I'm a little sort of running out of steam here did was a hanging woman mentioned or is it just Angren saying Okay, do this. Arngrim's just saying do this. He hasn't mentioned it. Okay. Oh, sorry. They meant for everybody. All right. Oh, he, he, oh, he, oh, yeah. Jenner mentioned it. I don't know if anybody else did. No, it's uh, Vellum hasn't seen the hanging moment, so he, I want to be sure that he has no to do it. That is correct. Arngrim is right. deliberately not saying it because it's weird. He's going to hop and off he doesn't and know. get to get the tie that that, uh, that their carriage onto the steam hammer. Mm-hmm. Right, easy enough to do. Alrighty, and I'm just gonna just hop in the back with Dijar, I guess. The moment okay. you do, you see Dijar and <laughs> looking, uh, doing her 
Her spell book shit. It looks like to go shit. Thought I told you to rest. Uh, uh, but, uh, mm. No, babe. This is how I rest. <laughs> um, so. <laughs> so, so question. Mm -hmm. Uh. Liska's a big bitch. Yep. Um. Also. She's hanging over the path. Yep. Are any of our vehicles tall enough to reach her? Like, will um, we drag... Will, like, will we tap her feet or, or something? Dragging uh, underneath? 15 uh, feet for the hammer. Mm -hmm. uh, Maybe taller if you count its poles. Give it about... It, it, yeah, from the top of the uh, the top of the steam hammer to the bottom of her feet, give it yeah, about about uh, four to three foot gap. Okay. So she's... Man, that is... Big. She's 20 feet up? Mm -hmm. Like the bottom of her feet are 20... That is a really tall. Does this is a huge fucking I imagine dead ass weeping willow. Yep. Okay, and she's hanging, and like the rope seems solid. The rope seems solid, if a bit warm. Uh, there, there's no breeze to kind of cause her to sway. She's um, just still a stone. You know what? Because she can. Uh, some. This. How far away are we from her? Uh, right now from you're like where we would be passing underneath her. All oh, right. Um, you're about. Ooh, this would be about fifteen feet away right now. All right. Uh, Liska is going to pull out the capsule of holy water mm -hmm. and she's going to beam that thing in the chest alright right, let me double check uh, sure just go ahead and roll an attack roll for me just curious just a this would be just, just a ranged attack roll Can I sort of say we probably don't need a roll for a non-moving stationary thing? Uh, hmm. Yeah. Well, actually, my aim might be off. You're just poking. Maybe. My aim might be off. Who knows? Okay. Uh, Twenty-two. Okay, it's not. But still. So yeah, hit it. Center mass. Holy water breaks and splashes over it, and Liska just wants to see what happens. You chuck the flask. <sighs> splashes. And you watch faintest flick of blue fire. Done dead. Fuck, I knew it! I bet you're a wee fucker, tree mask off, and swing the arms of the and get you. It's not the fucking island, it's part of the tree itself. <laughs> what? <laughs> I speak dwarven, but what? <laughs> that made perfect sense. She's part of the tree. Or uh, a fish. I don't know what that is, but okay. Also, so the tree is the thing? Get inside. That tree is gonna fuck around ya! I knew we should trust trees. This guy pulls out just like a throwing axe and just chunks it at the tree. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> thunk! Brrr. Nothing. Question, Ganner. Mm -hmm. Ganner? Yeah. So, Eld. Mm hmm. I can ignite it, right? Mm -hmm. And it has the property of the dwarven, dwarven thrower, right? That it re returns? Uh, uh, I, don't, I don't think so, I no. Think so. Uh, how did it know? Yeah. How did it get it a dwarven thrower? It has the property you of it? your. No, not my dwarven thrower. No, no. I don't think you meant that it returns if you throw it. Spinning cleaver. Yeah, I, yes, I, 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 I think. Yeah. I, I was about to say. 
I, I didn't get rid of my dwarven thrower. I yeah. upgraded your cleaver. I yeah, think that's the one. Um, it's it's wild we, means spinning cleaver plus fire. Uh, I, I, I think we didn't we, we we didn't do that. Remember? Um, I don't remember. That's why I'm asking. Uh, no, I, I I don't think we did that. It was. The the wild man spilling cleaver was 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 part of it. Um, it just didn't have the properties of that uh, of that cleaver. Okay. So you you you, you cannot throw it and it and it comes back. You cannot do that. Okay. That was the plan. So no. Never mind. Do you still have so? Does he then still have the Wildmans? Uh, no, it's part of it. Uh, yeah, that was. It's, it's part of it. I'm. I was pretty damn sure uh, we did because I'm rolled twenty. See if it says there. But I think we did that. I don't remember. I. I will have to go and back. I'll have to go back and yeah. look at the vod. Um, what, what does the weapon say? Well, let me look on. Um, no, what, what is I your we weapon say? Because we made you a new weapon. It does not exist. Yeah, what, what what is the description of Eld? Does it say that it that it can return? Uh, let's see. So if you hover over it and you hold X and click on the info button, pop it in yeah, chat, I'm, please. Yeah, I'm reading this a lot of stuff. Hang on. How did I pop it into chat? So you hover over the item in, you, in your inventory, you hold the X button X. to be able to interact with the pop-out, and there will be a little info with the speech bubble at the bottom of the card. Click on that. What's uh, in the wrong screen? Hang on, I'll do it. Nothing's there happened. you go. Nothing happens when I press X. There you go. One of those. Big boy. Yeah, it's a lot of text on that boy. So it has returning. If you lose the battle axe, you may summon the weapon from a five foot cube source of natural. Wait. Yeah, you may summon the weapon from a five foot cube source of natural flame within five feet of you. So if there's. He can summon the weapon out of fire that's adjacent to him. Or close to him. Wasn't it that that we didn't do? Because it, it was it was basically as the warlocks like blade warlocks. Uh, thing. I'll, I'll 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 have to go through the, the through the vod. Um, you can you can try to you can try to just just manually just throw your axe. I don't know if I want to. Uh. Nah. No, that's not. Okay. I don't want. I don't want. I don't want to uh, risk it. Anyway. Okay. Never mind. So <laughs> the holy water affected the body. Is it? Oh, by the way, is it human body? Uh, dwarven body? It's. It is a human woman. Uh, she is sort of emaciated and uh, clearly been up there for quite some time. Okay. And the holy water did. Ha okay. So. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure this. Maybe not the tree. And she points to the just the throwing axe that's embedded in it. Maybe not the tree, but she seems to be weird. What if we like cut her down, or just burn her up there? Okay. If that's the fucking case, Arngrim's just gonna lean out, gonna look at it, 
kind of going to eyebrows up. And where's my boy? What do I need? This. He's going to try and stare at her. Give her the old spicy eyeballs. I must have a target before I can roll an attack. Uh. Hmm. Go ahead and just uh, just target yourself, and I'll undo any damage that you do. And you know what? Because I can fuck you. Thirteen. Thirteen. Uh, that. Let's see. I believe that misses. You watch as this uh, this surge of divine light shoots out from your 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 gaze. <laughs> I imagine. Well, they watch. I'm a little bit blind at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Blinded by the light. And this 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 beam of divine energy shoots out and doesn't even manage manage to to grace this figure. No, no reaction. Leska just kind of <laughs> leans, like puts her face next to the window. Like, shouldn't you have done that thing where you like energy just comes from above and fries them where they're standing? Oh, the 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 big firewall. Uh, Not the no, wall of fire, but the the the, 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 the 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 like the little radiant thing. Oh oh oh, where it, where it, it bursts from underneath them and like the, the like the geyser with the the holy fire. Sure. Yeah, I don't have that one ready right now. Out of, I, out of character, do you not have Radiant Flame, the cantrip? No. Okay. A word flame. of Radiance, Mending, Spare the Dying, Told the Dead, and Guidance. Gotcha. Alright then. Fun stuff. Yeah. Where... I... I <laughs> okay, so yeah, Liska's just sitting there, leaning against the tank, just kind of watching. Mild amusement on her face. Fuck me. Okay. N new plan. I don't want to deal with this, so... Actually, I don't think I have anything else up my sleeve other than trying to shoot at it again. Which I can what, do! What about that thing where you, like, said something and destroyed a whole bunch of zombies around you? Oh yeah, I can do that. What the you wanna do that just for this one? I don't know. I don't know how powerful this thing is. Could. Me neither. I could throw it a... It might not do anything. I could uh, just throw a rock beneath it uh, and see what it does kind of holds up a rock that he's kind of gathered off the road. No, 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 it's... It's not gonna care about the rock. He reaches into the freezer and pulls out a piece of pork. <laughs> Here, try this. <laughs> Everyone appreciates a cut. Fresh meat, it might go after that. <laughs> There's no fresh meat in this fucking bog near as good as that. We cannot argue with that. Alright, so you're just gonna throw a piece of meat beneath it. Okay. Alright then. You. Alright, big man, what happens? You. <laughs> Wait for a moment. Nothing. Nothing happens. Did you fucking kill it with that flask of holy fire? What's gonna say, badass? All right. Well, stay inside the tank. I'll just drive forward, pulls through, and if it doesn't do anything, uh, you can come on, bay. Okay. So, wait, so, can you like, what's what's that fancy he halfling term? Can you yoga into Vellum's cart for safety's sake? I maybe. I don't know. I don't think I've ever tried to go into his cart. In here? I mean, I can squeeze either way, but. His cart's a little bigger. 
So. I, I recommend these cards. Wait, but who all was in the... Hey! She calls back, like, who all was inside Vellum's cart? Uh, it's me and Jar at the moment. Why? Yes, I... There? I'll squeeze. You know what? I can get into the corner. Uh, Bed. If she's coming in for some reason, we may have to. I'm just going to squidge as much as possible. Okay. I mean, it can so, fit three people. The three normal sized people. <laughs> so Liska's, yeah, so Liska's going to go in there and she's going to squeeze. Two and Aliska if you really. Two and Aliska if you really push it. Yeah. This isn't. Yeah. Remember, this isn't combat, so we can't occupy you each can't other's spaces. You can't occupy the same space. I yeah. know, but it's just humorous to me. Like, they oh, yeah. bunch yeah, up yeah. in the corner on the bed. Oh, they're and definitely she just occupying each other's door. space in a case of fucking. <laughs> vellum cart twister. Yeah, uh, you just see the yard just... Everybody uh, just secure. Like, uh, we drive underneath and past, as we do. All right. I have a 15-foot tall thing with a, a tall steam spout. Does it clear her fine? Is she too high above? It seems to clear her fine. And as you kind of trundle underneath, very slowly, be very careful not to disturb her in any way. You pass straight under her. I'll be honest, this is not what I was expecting to happen. Oh no, it's fine. Clear. There was like a dead body oh, like. hanging from a tree, but I killed it with some holy water, but we're just taking precautions. Oh, yes, it's like 500 feet past. Considering what we're dealing with in a... this unholy place, I'm getting fucking bad vibes all around. I, I can't sleep. Not whatever. Knowing. Just, just, just now felt the vibes, huh? <laughs> I tried not to think about it. No, now it's just on my mind every day. What the fuck? I got you. All right. So you. you, you okay, we're clear. <sighs> Let's go. Steps out of the cart. <laughs> like sorry for just, the uh, bit of scratch on the wood. Uh, it's, it's fine. I know. File it out with some. I'm just gonna finish. <laughs> you know, I big forgot bitch. what I was talking. Oh, you, you. right. Then I'm like, I'm like, so when I get a product, have a project in mind. Yes, I. Oh right, yeah, in bed. Look, I'm doing the thing that helps me relax. You. Take away the thing that helps me relax. It's gonna make me more anxious. Just Let me do have my thing. Comfortably, instead of just sitting on the floor. All right. Okay. Damn. Good. Now I'm gonna go drive again. And actually, please rest. I'll try. Oh, the door's locked. You. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get it you out. out. You out? <laughs> Let's go lock you all in after she left. <laughs> well, That's it's just you and me. <laughs> Okay, I can't actually get out, but assume Vellum is back on the car. Okay. <laughs> we just... There we go. Alright, so... Back in the saddle. You continue on your travels. Through the Morbog for another hour. The mist continues to cling to the fetid air like flies to a corpse. The air grows colder. A chill runs through your bones. Cold. Um, guys, as she's speaking, it's visible that Sao is looking around, even behind her. It's weird. I need to refresh. Uh, I think something is afoot. Uh, I do not like that at all. No. Uh, Summit just touched my neck. Same here. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Did you feel Summit touch your neck? Uh, nope. Maybe I I'm trying not to think. I'm not trying. Nope, nope, nope. I'm gonna say yes. Um, right. That was weird. Let's keep going and try to ignore it. I just hope that if ghosts aren't getting hands. If, if it happens again, I am. I don't know what I'm gonna do. 
You'll be fine. You're back there. You got some safety and comfort. You're fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mental health is the most important health of all. Okay. Uh. Hunger. I can't seem to. I seem to what? Yes. N never mind. It's just found you being weird. Okay. Um, do you kind of um? Yeah, you're the first, f one of the first people to notice this, as well as se severe. Um, Angrim, you notice know, uh something emerged through the fog, and it catches many of you off guard as it emerges quickly and suddenly due to the close proximity of the fog. A tall, gnarled tree. tree branch looms overhead. An emaciated body hangs from it. It's female, dressed in nothing but ragged white robes. Her long, slightly damp, tangled hair hangs in front of her face and there's no breeze which sways the body or creaks the branches. There's no movement. There she hangs by a noose, practically frozen in time. Do I see it this time or is it still obscured? Angrim, uh, Angrim sees it first. And I have a question. Yep. Our, our group's been maintaining his find the path thing this entire time. Mm -hmm. So he's yes. has a point of reference. Yes. So has that changed at all while they've been moving? Uh, it seems to change a little because, bit. Because then... I don't know if, because I was going to say, because I don't know if it is. Yeah, I don't know if it's affected by magic or not. That's why I'm asking. Mm. It does not say that it is not affected by magic. So it does not exclude it, but it says I always know the direction in the shortest path. Mm -hmm. If there's multiple paths, it shows me which one to take, even though it may not be the safest. It seems to be still my Either it's, it... we need a new guide because he just led us in a loop, or there's magic fuckery. It seems to be... It seems to be I've been maintaining its, its direction this entire time. You guys have not turned. You've not. Um, you've not been diverting any paths. Uh, paths. It seems to have been just one straight path. Have we stopped? Gainer. Depends on our group. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can I, can I feel if we are heading in like? Because, like, I can't get lost, except if it's yeah, yeah. magical means. You seem to be heading in a southwardly direction. Uh, sort of, um... South by southeast. And you've been heading that way for the past few hours. Is it where you're supposed to go? I think so, right? I think west was the... way... For the second We're going time. 300, 218, no, no, 85 miles west. And uh, from what you, uh, oh, so good. I was going to say, looking at the tree and the woman, one, does she look like she's been burned by holy water? And two, is a hand axe still? Two axe in the tree. The hand axe is still in the tree. And she does look slightly singed. Cool. Liska's gonna go over and she's gonna take the hand axe of the tree. Thunk! And then she's going to toss it at the branch that has the rope tied around it to make the body drop. As you. Thunk! Against the against the branch, thunk. The branch falls to the ground, and the body crumples with it. All right, what's going on now? Liska's going to get her sword, 
and she's going to well actually giving a look at it does it seem like the body is like you said it looks like it's been there for a while but it seems oddly maintained like it's not rotting it's not just a skeleton hanging anymore you said mm. it's just slightly emaciated it's very emaciated almost skeletal almost uh, mummified to some degree I also do this. I, sorry, sorry, Argo. I'd be up. You'd be up front. <laughs> yeah, we're, I would just go on a stand up here. Uh, all right, everyone out. Don't don't break her yet. Just and he just whistles out to everybody. We got fuckery afoot. Everyone yeah. out. We need to do a think. Right. What now? Hey, huh? We looped. Luke, you, and then he sort of notices the body. Is like, we were on the straight uh, path, and we looped. We're back to where I assume she was just hanging. I, I uh, move All right, me so out here's the, the deal. You got that three. Gander. You got three questions. You can only ask what she knows, and then uh, it might not work again. So. Let's ask her three. Oh, well, uh, we can ask if she means us harm. Well, this looping could okay. just be something different than what she does. Hold on. Hold up, hold up. Doesn't it have to know... Doesn't only know what it knows in life? What the fuck? Like, yes. if, if, I imagine as soon as she... She stopped knowing what the magic was involved with her body. Mm. You're the, you're yeah, the, the major question. We don't question. know with the Morbog, but we could... We don't know how long she's been here. We could know something. It could be as simple as, you know, do you know how to leave this place? Whatever. There's no harm in asking. There's that, but we also... Ifness. Yes. Also, what I was going to ask is, how did, uh... I know the obvious question how she died, but there could be some... witch? Like if she died in a ritual or something? Yes. Listen, just because you got cursed by a hag doesn't mean that everything is a footage. <laughs> There's a possibility you don't know. But maybe she's the witch. Why would she Again. kill herself? Again, that uh, makes no sense. Sir, there sucks to be a necromancer in a place full of undead you can't control. That's probably got to be the greatest feeling of helplessness. Right, so before we go too crazy here, um... We should figure out how she died in the first place. I mean, she was hanging there, but maybe she died before she was drunk. Yeah, Let me that's what take I'm a look at her and maybe see what it was. E easy question. Get Grunka to come over. Hello. Have a look at the neck. See if there's like the bruising marks <clears throat> that occur when you bleed. Hey, Grunks. You know? Okay. Or if if her heart was stopped before that, she wouldn't have the bruises. Okay, let's do it. Because if she was strung up, we could probably ask her who did. This. Ooh. Is, hmm. Because she would have been alive long enough to know. Is the, check here. Hey, right. where's the where's Do the body? A, uh, a medicine check. Uh, right in front of Lisco. Yeah. We don't have. Yeah, it's right in front of Lisco. Now, the funny thing is that even if you're a healer, you don't get proficiency in medicine. So, <laughs> well, anyone want to help me with this? Uh, uh, you know what? Actually, <laughs> somebody's got to be proficient. Does anybody have? Proficiency was medicine. I'm sitting at a plus three without proficiency. And I have no proficiency. proficiency. All right, who who's got the most trained? I got I a one. I, got a I don't have a prof proficiency in medicine, but I have a proficient in uh, investigation. Mm, that's medicine, so it needs to be medicine. You could sort of thing. Um, it, yeah. I, I will say it could be an investigation or a medicine check. All right, All right. I got minus one. I guess the investigation brain. would tell you like about the body, but the medicine would tell you like what if the uh, strangulation. Yeah, yeah. one in both of them. So. Well, let's just go with higher modifiers since it seems like none of us have meds. Yeah, I, I have three. Yep. All right. I only I have a two. Let's go. Giving so advantage. You. You're welcome. Thank you, and all this guidance. So thank. You. Thanks, Lisa. Alright, so she's helping me, she's holding up the body, moving the ropes, things like that, so she can help me out. Uh, Dejar, did you say you wanted to investigate the area? Yeah. Okay. 
So I'll do this while you do that. Someone's blowing in a bottle. Here we go. And I get advantage right. for uh, the, my new team. There you go. So, um, first of all, Angrim, as you kind of um, check the body, kind of pull back the tangled mess of the hair from this, uh, this mummified corpse, um, you can very clearly Mummified. see that her her neck has been completely broken and snapped. You know that last scene in um, uh, the haunting of Hill House. Uh, sure. I, I, th I, th I think. I, well, if, if anyone, if any of you have seen that Netflix series, um, uh, you can see the vertebrae. Yeah, I understand a hangsman break. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> The um, you can see the vertebrae has been uh, sort of sort of shunted off, went al al almost to the degree of protruding through the neck, and the the head is just hanging. So it's limp. fair to say this is the sp the cervical spine damage you'd expect from a twenty foot fall. Yes. On a newt. Yes. <laughs> this was her death. So we can rule that out. Uh, with Dejar, with your investigation check, kind of checking around the area, you indeed see, um, off into the fog before you, uh, tracks. Very familiar looking tracks. Some Hold up. Somehow, you have been led back here, despite never turning any corners or making, making, what? Well, Making any turns whatsoever. Hey, Mal. Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Let's put some boogie in it. <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh. Picard starts thinking the. Uh. Talk she had with the commander. It was something to do with. Trees. Does it, Dejar share her findings? Yeah, she's coming back thinking out loud. Uh, some reason we been led in this circle, like deliberately, and I'm, I'm thinking it's having to do something with the tree, the tree itself. Commander right. talked about. You don't think it's the, the lady body, whatever. You think it's the tree she was hanging. Yeah. That was uh, my guess. So Something. I have. So with Dajar mentioning tracks and whatnot, how long ago was it for Sal and Val to be like, "Hey, something weird"? Like, how far back was that? Was that like right before we were coming up to the tree, or is that like 10, 15 minutes before then? Um, hmm. I would imagine maybe about not not long uh, not long before heading up to the tree, because the, the 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 dense fog um, it's it's uh, it's making many things hard to see beyond like fifty feet or so. So, so you wouldn't have seen the tree. Oh, come, I mean, I mean, I understand that, but I mean, I I don't have to see the tree coming. I know where we when we interacted with it. That's why I'm asking. Yeah, How long yeah. before we saw the tree did they say something was weird? Yeah, well, the gap of time in between when when we found the tree. Because oh, I, right, 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 right. Because right. Liska's uh, walking, she'd know the like how many, roughly how many steps she would take right, before okay. that um, happened. Not not long, I imagine. Maybe but maybe a couple minutes. Okay. Um. So Liska is going to look down and she's going to see if she can find well she can actually find the tracks that we have made right now but mm -hmm. she wants to see she's going to kind of uh, motion to Grunka or Severe well Arkham's talking to Severe so she's going to motion to Grunka and she's like Grunka come with me real quick we want to like let's see if we can find because I think that 
I, I don't really know. And I guess she's going to be saying this out loud. I don't really know magic, but I do know that if something were to happen, the two most perceptive people, and she points to Valum and Sal, probably would have noticed nothing happened. So I think that that might be when we were looped. So I, like, can you come with me, follow me back, and see if there's like a weird thing of tracks that maybe overlaps or starts where they shouldn't and don't stop or something like that? Can you come with me? Oh, who, is, who is this directed at, sorry? She's saying this out loud, but she asked Grunka specifically to come with. Oh, okay. But she looks just like, but you know, other magical people, if you want to come, I just, you know, want to make sure that my eyes can see, my eyes don't miss anything. I'll tag along, just in case. I didn't have someone I wanted to check, but we should probably keep even numbers on either side. Maybe true, but still, there's, there's right. magic abound. All right, and then so Liska will use her survival to track back their tracks to see when there might be an overlap, like if there is a point in time where tracks suddenly start, like they were teleported back and moved forward, like they were double backed on the path. So there should, hopefully, with the with the 18 intelligence check she rolled, uh, mm -hmm. there should hopefully be a point in time where tracks begin from where we were sent back. Yeah. So there should be, a, it's like, okay, so this is the barrier. Or this is where it happens. So, yeah, she's going to do that. Alright, so you begin to backtrack all the way back. Yeah. The minute or two that it happened, so I'll do survival. Bam! 26. Right. You Arch track out. Continue on now, uh, it's been a few hours um, after traveling um, since you since you previously saw this uh, uh, this this hanging tree. So you'll probably, you'll probably have to try. Fine. I don't, yeah. I'm just. Well, no, I'm I'm going back, back the minute or two mm -hmm. from when Sal and Vellum said, "Hey, something's weird." That's how far back she's going. Okay. So at, at the walking pace that she was at. She's going to go back about a minute, keeping mm -hmm. sight on the tracks with a couple of people with her, just, you know, buddy system, yeah. to see if that point in time, because she doesn't care about the two or something hours before then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She just cares about, because in her mind, the trigger was when they said something's up. Okay, okay. So you continue on for the next couple of minutes or so, following these uh, very familiar tracks. Um, and... You, you do notice that there are there are two tracks overlapping, but beyond the two minute mark, um, nothing seems to change. He's going to keep going for a few more minutes. Okay. Continuing on to you. two overlapping tracks. And continuing on for the next couple of minutes, you know, it just seems to keep going. Right. And judging by what she can see, though I imagine it is really kind of iffy, like does it seem, well not her survival, she'd be able to tell. Okay, like going back and be like, hmm, alright, and then she's going to kind of move back up to around where Vellum and Sal said it, like she's going to go back a few more minutes forward towards the group. Uh, and then she's going to kind of sit and just listen and see if she can, like, if she can feel something weird, like someone breathing on her neck, because mm -hmm. apparently there's a perverted ghost in here. <laughs> okay, um, go ahead and make a perception check. All right. Oh, that is... Okay, no, cool, didn't do it. Just the general chill in the air. It's, uh... Feel itself shivering. It's... 
You can sense the temperature dropping gradually. That's about it. Right. And did uh, you're behind her. Yeah. She's gonna look to Dajar and Kraka. It's like Dajar, can you do any magic detection or anything? Because mm. I know Kraka Kraka tends to be like his own little compass. And Ongram has that magic thing that tells him what everything is, so I I guess it's just probably just a magic thing that is allowing us to not allowing, that is making us circle around. Okay, so I think I can use can use my arcane eye to scope out the place. And do that. that. Magic? Hmm. I know. Though so not that. So I could basically just use that flipping through her, her spell book. I mean, yeah. well, let's uh, let's go back to the party. Like, yeah. let's all yeah, get let's, back together first. Okay. Yes, so, let's um, do that first. Then I'll. We've been uh, kind of talking Sorry. to uh, talking to Grunker and Severe here uh, for a moment. Oh. And. Sorry. Kind of look. You kind of look back. The body's gone. Oh fuck! Fuck. Mm. That one's eventually going to round the corner from his circuit of pacing, and then does the body's gone. Okay, what happened? Nobody knows. I was waiting for an arm. Oh boy. I turned around and I didn't see. I'm gonna look up. Is it back in the tree? No. Just an empty noose. Oh, it's alright. Uh, no, the, the noose came down with the branch. Um, you just but there's see... no body up there. The branch is still there. Uh, there's no body up there, no. Uh, have Liska and Co. come back? I, I would imagine. Well, they're heading back. I don't know when this happens. Yeah. Oh, it's simultaneous. That's why I, I imagine to kind of soon after this discovery is made. Did you lot find anything? Because uh, as you can see, we are lacking a body. Hmm. Uh, no, I I can't say I am, but that's. Did she just like get up and Wait. walk away? Did y'all not notice the body disappearing? I was no, we were looking thinking. the other way and fog, and literally no sound was made. <sighs> okay, this is didn't... some well, magic fuckery. Well, I okay. can do some. Yeah, do your Kelsey. magic thing, and I'll. Come over here. This guy is going to once I'm again. Doing... She's going to see if, if through mundane means, the creature, the body moved away. She's basically going to check for tracks with survival mm -hmm. again. All right, make it. Yeah, go ahead and make I'm a some use... survival check. Oh, she does that. I'm doing detect magic. All right. Oh wait, was someone helping, or did they just? Uh, I was too late. Be happy to help. Yeah, it's not. Uh... And... Actually, you, you said while you're doing that and you're going over and actively investigating, I'm helping. Okay, then. Fuck you being stuck in life. Bam. Let me take out my little lantern, put that out there, and be like, oh, no, pat the old ass cheek. <laughs> <laughs> I have she's, to reach up to that, so it's going to be she's more crouching, gonna be She's more crouching down right now, so you just so slapped her ass I, I, even I when you didn't have to. Yeah, I'm gonna look oh, over no. here just in case. I'm okay. just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, oh, really so he has this shit. Unless there's also oh, 30. 30. <laughs> 30 with uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> guidance. You see, uh, uh, the legions of torment thought this hard to track them dead just for this occasion. <laughs> you um, you kind of begin to scour the general area. You see what looks like some sort of flecks of residual 
energy. No one else sees it but you, and you, you, you're getting really close into, in, into the into the sort of um, dirt and muck, trying to trying to uncover whatever you can find, and these small specks of glowing blue energy, which quickly have dissipated by the time you see them. It was just it was it was just that 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 brief moment where you just saw it using your using your survival skill. I read them. And ah. so he's So does where did those tracks lead? Like where did they uh, point to? There was no there's no tracks that you saw. Just that res, just just well, that where, just just that bluish sort of residual um you could call it spectral energy. Where did those lead? Um, where did those lead? Where it, did you see them in relation to where the body was? It seems to... Let's see. This would be... A bit further on. Um, towards the south by southeast. Same route you've been going. Okay. So, past the tree... Further on, further down the path. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. And and she says my that. Magical eye, I see. Yeah. Let's see what uh, Dejar says. Right. Uh, Dejar, detect magic, and that's uh, what's the what's the radius of that? Uh, let's see. Hold on. I keep. So thirty feet. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Um, thirty feet. Uh, you don't quite detect anything different than the uh, than the usual sort of just just general atmosphere of necromatic energy in your immediate vicinity. And uh, the yeah the magic weapons your allies already have on them. Let's mm-hmm. mm-hmm. go motions Dajar to once she sees that Dajar is doing magic detection she motions motions Dajar to come up and she kind of points to where the body was and then guides Dajar forward to where she saw those flecks of energy okay then Dajar follows All right. need any difference uh on the cusp of the radius, you sense some sort of necromantic energy that's a bit stronger than the rest. Ooh. He just. Her face turns to like he. He did something sour. Some strong necromancy. And I think it's coming from off the body. But you okay. ten gold pieces that this has to deal with them with a hag. Well, make that bet with Argum. I don't care. Oh, I'm, I'm t- making that bet with Argum. I'm saying that out loud. <laughs> right. So, let's get has her sword and shield ready. Mm-hmm. And so, so thirty feet away from us is when there, there's like a stronger flame. So, stepping forward, does that change? Does more come into view? So you continue on forward. The fog uh, begins to clear, and you see an emaciated woman stands in your path. Oh shit! And her feet don't touch the ground. You hear cracking and creaking. As her bent neck forces her head to lift. The hair falls away from a horrifically warped face. And the hair begins to drift as it's if... It's just un- going to plug her ears. As if underwater. The eyes are sunken and pearlescent white. The lips are withered. Exposed, gnarled teeth. 
and she reaches up a gangly arm. A whisper caresses your ears, Dashar. Don't leave so alone. Rest with me. The mists around you begin to distort and displace. Figures begin to take shape. And next session we roll initiative. Motherfucker. Mm. Fun stuff. So uh, yeah, we're I, good. Need to, I need to ask something here. Uh, Vellum was like looking around the back of the wagon. Was the entire wagon train heading out or was it just the group? It was just the group. Well, like, it was, shit. Like, Vellum it was Liska. Really... Yeah, Li- yeah, Vellum wasn't doing his own buddy stuff. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I could and probably assume they went on ahead but it's like he does a like comes back around and is like shit everyone's just bad uh no there's still severe and Arngrim oh okay Ar- Arngrim stayed back because he called out to you because he can't see because you couldn't see the lady from where you were at so therefore I'm up there where she is I can't see you so uh, he okay. called out to you but he stayed put he's not going off so there's somebody here alright cool I, did, I didn't catch that as long as no, he's so aware of what's going on in some people have gone away. I'm not aware of this. I cannot see what they're doing. Yeah, you're aware that the others have gone somewhere, though, as opposed to him showing up and just like, bam, nothing. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> I'm uh I'm I'm once you're done recording, I'm gonna go. Pass the fuck out. All right, I'm gonna stop recording in three, two, one.